I'm wishing away the extra weight I put on over Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it well, just keeps on. Yeah. And the wedding. What? And the wedding. Oh, he points at me like, well, well she no. better say something too. Cause no, I was going to. No. The heifer ate no. me. No. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, did. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh, lucky. You didn't but, say anything. But uh, you apparently out of control already. Oh, where's so. my kick? I told him not the neck, and he doesn't listen. He don't listen. Oh, let's see. It's, uh, it's, it's warm nice in here. It's, it's nice so to see. Here. No, it's not. I'm freezing. I've got a t-shirt. Look, I got this for Christmas, though. Oh. Julie got this for me. And the hat that matches, sort of. It's a little darker brown, but hey, we'll go with it. So I have He's multiple, lived in those hats now. I have. Yeah. I have multiple uh, Newsy hats from the 20s now that I can just kind of. Uh, well, the Newsy ones are a little bit different, though. Well, no, they're kind of. This yeah. is from the Brooklyn Hat Company, mm. Brooklyn, New York, made in China. I'm sure. From Brooklyn. All right, what's um, up? Well, I can't see. Pastmaster Dan says it's nice to see Aaron get someone on here that's older than him. Respect Ooh. to our elders. He's not talking about me. No, I'm I think younger. He's, no, I, he's like dissing Dale. Oh, but, oh, already. That's terrible. He must have started early, like me. Yeah. Now the funny thing is, I had to start Pastmaster early Dan is not the first person who's in. Someone no. was in here early, like, and then but then he raced. Me. And then oh. he erased their thing. So oh, we don't even know that. That's too bad. Well, what do they get for that anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Look at Dale. We Dale, owe somebody Dale a language alert. Look at Dale's in the Hi, room already. Wow. Yeah. Give us a couple early. minutes. Give us a couple of minutes. Just relax. Take a few He's deep excited. breaths. And we'll bring you in. All right. We owe somebody so, a language alert. I got to find it. it. Well, I I, I might have earned a few today. Have you guys seen Twitter? Like, I don't know what it is. Christmas just made all the like Twitter don't evil. Dark. Okay. Oh. We don't, we don't want to go there. We don't want to go there. Let's keep it. Meditate. Keep meditate. Meditate. Clean and everything. So Some people have lost their minds. That's all uh, I can say. Christmas Goodness brings out sakes. the best in everyone, doesn't it? Mm. They okay, were so on fire. This is a freaking huge show. Oh my we're, gosh, it's so exciting. We're like uh, a day after Christmas, which I is think it is. No. It is. We is had it? snow outside. We had two inches oh, this morning when it got up. We're supposed to have snow the rest of this week. So yeah, so yep. it's, it's sorry, I'm still looking for the, the language. To... <laughs> so, I owe somebody a language alert, and I can't remember who. So if it's you, tell me. Well, hang on a second. Why don't we just give it out, and then just, uh, there it is for whoever needs for this. Whoever who needs one, here it is. So clean it just up, will you? Jeez, I'll find it. Okay, it might not so... be today. Well, okay, so he told me I'm only needed, needed for thirty minutes today. It took me longer to get ready. So that's why I had to start early. I had to start early. Well, I have a reputation to. Here's the thing I think we should do since Dale is in so early. Yeah. I don't want to. We should bring Let's him do... in and let him experience the whole thing. Well, since yeah, and here. he should do. Dale knows, not Shelly knows. Well, maybe he can help you out can, in case yeah. you get stuck. It's my lifeline? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Take so, Dale, I'm going to bring you in because you're here. I hate to see you sitting in the green room all alone. So, he's taking a nap. We have some uh, stuff we're going to do before we get to the heart of the Dale Cohen interview. The, uh, but I'm going to bring him in so we can experience this firsthand. We're so and then, sorry. I mean, he'll, he's like, uh, he's never coming back, I'm sure, yeah. after this. So uh, so Those anyway, Presties. someone had put in here earlier. They said, this is going to be epic because this is a show that features the two best monster artists from the 90s. Of course, he's referring Forever. to Dale. And then I guess I was referring to me, which well, I'll take some of that. I'll take some of that. I am one I'll of the best monsters. That. However, can we just uh, let's get this out of the way? Breathe, shell. Yeah. Have you seen yes, it? Yes, there it is. Holy cow! Okay, Wait. I just Ibex is here. He's Ibex oh. Universe says, "Miss hey. Little Presty sent me to the stream from Twitter." Hi everyone, thanks for joining He's us. New. Thank you for the so, so super nice. chat. That's very kind of oh, you. My and then gosh. General Piggy says, "I love to see the little Presties in their Sunday bests." That's right. We are. You should see me. We're, an step, hour ago. we're stepping out in the town. Right oh, yeah. After the show. Right. So, anyway. General so, Piggy, that's a new one, too. I know. I Which that. reminds me, we should do this. We should, Let's we should do a public, public service Done. announcement out of the way, real quickly here. We'll have a drink. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, there it is. So, if you, that. please like and subscribe to this here. wonderful channel because it's just oh. full of excitement and entertainment and all sorts of we stuff. We haven't even talked about the wedding. We have not seen everybody. Seen everybody since the wedding. Oh we my gosh. We haven't talked to anybody since the wedding. It Look was it. beautiful. It was. It was fantastic. Yeah. We drove down south about four south? hours from here. No. South from here? Is it not south from here? Are you kidding me? It's Central Oregon. 
Okay, but it's south from here. This much south. Okay. Four hours southeast. Anyway, Dale's gonna went leave, over Mount Hood. It was know, beautiful. It was. Snow. We drove. Cold, we rented a beer. car that was worth more than our first house. That's right. So we looked so like we nervous. were styling. We yeah, I'm sure people were like, ooh, those little Prestes are doing well. Mm, no, we left the piece of crap truck and the Nissan at home and drove the Land Rover. Is that what That's it was? That's right. It was a Land, uh, yeah, something ooh, like that. Ooh, fancy schmancy. So, oh my gosh, another one. My goodness, Optimus Deadpool for $5. Thank you so much. That's fabulous. Aww. This is the first time watching. Hey, thanks, yeah, on Twitter. Hey, chat, thank we, you. We answer a lot of stuff. Mm. So subscribe. Yep. It's free. Nice. Thank you so much for the $5. Appreciate Hi it. Hi from Beaverton. Look at this. Look at this. Stop teasing and unleash Dale Keown. I know, Jeff, you have been ready all day. So aside to read Yeah, Jeff, Jeff is just but, like, this is. Okay, the wedding. Let's just. Okay, let's, let's do the okay, wedding they were beautiful. Um, I was a mess. Not crying. Like, okay, I cried when I do the mom. I looked, I looked really good. You did. Oh, you looked like a thousand bucks. I did. <laughs> because it was. I was literally a thousand dollars. I was so tired. I got two hours of sleep the night before we left. Mm -hmm. I left. My heart rollers and Curly and I are at home. Mm -hmm. So that night he had to run to Walmart and bless his heart, bought me all they had, but that was not, uh, they weren't great. And so, yeah, I was puffy and frizzy haired and <laughs> it was not a pretty look for Shelly. But, but we, we the bride looked beautiful because she is stunningly beautiful. I did post a picture on Twitter. Um, they went out to, I think it was called Smith Rock. Yes. Oh, Central Oregon is just the most beautiful. They call it the high desert. Mm, it beautiful. Is. Um, beautiful. So beautiful. now they were moving today. They were moving in today. Um, what else? Our son looks very happy. <laughs> yeah. Chris O'Reilly. I know. From I Beaverton, just hey, How about that? He needs to catch up. I already said that. Um, you didn't click on it, so how would I know? That's true. But anyway, so yeah, we're super happy. They came over for Christmas Eve. And um, what was your favorite present? Not the hat, not the clothes, but you do look good. The jammies. No. <gasps> oh, you're saying uh, that was a hit. Come on. I got everybody pajama bottoms with our dog's face on. <laughs> I don't know if I said that was awesome. My mom gave gave us all like money. Well, that was good. And she gave me 150 bucks, which I'm probably gonna spend on a comic book. So that may have been my favorite gift. <laughs> and it's supposed to be for shoes, I thought. <laughs> oh, hey, stats here. Hey, the hey, rat Mike. says, hello, Mr. And Mrs. LaPrice. Congrats on the wedding. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you Thank so you. much. We did. You it, was did well. it was good. It was good. Stat Zero's here. Hello, Always LaPrice. My hero. Chat. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Okay. Enough okay. of this yeah. silliness. No, actually, it's just starting. But Oh, wait. What? Wait. What? I just need more of these people in my life. Donut sticks says, I think Shelly is pretty. Well, thank well, one, you. one, love me some donuts. Yep. Two, thank you, because yeah, this ain't all it's, happening. But donut sticks, it's E Y. I'm not going to blow you up because no, 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 I don't recognize okay. your name, and I don't want to, you know, it's, I don't want to send you away. It's that on my birthday because my nice. mom was indecisive. Anyway, Aaron's favorite gift is a huge grade CGC comics from the '70s. Well, of what course. comics did you get from Josh? Holy crap! Five dollars from Canada. Randy Howell says, "I hey, want a pit omnibus." Oh yeah, more Wraith would be nice too. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't, geez, I can't really argue with that either, can I? Thank you, Randy, for the five. I appreciate it very much. Okay, enough of this silliness. Well, okay, that's not true either. But no. let's stop the silliness for a second. That's hard to do. And let's bring in an all-star. Oh, my gosh, epic. Epic all-star. Even I know, and from all My yeah. son, my 28-year-old son doesn't watch this show because he says, every time I hang around you, Dad, I get Aaron, Aaron live. So yeah. why would I watch? Yeah. Then I said, well, Dale Keown's going to be on this week. And he's like, ooh, I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah. So anyway. There's only three people. When okay. I was buying comics regularly, there's only three yeah. people that I would buy everything they did. Mm -hmm. Alan Davis, mm -hmm. Adam Hughes, and Dale Keogh. Oh. So from the great night, uh -oh, white north, oh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> from the great white north, please welcome, put your hands together. Isn't that the great white north? Yeah. For the legend that good. is oh, sorry. Dale Keogh. There he Woo! is. How you doing? Good to uh, thanks for having me. It's really it's nice to meet you, Shelly. I don't think I ever have before. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you great. No, I uh used to just be in the background, but now she's oh, in the foreground. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, now I'm the vocal one. She's too good to <laughs> bring her on the show and yeah. you know, make t shirts and all sorts of things for her. So, it's going to be a I'm just here for the sarcasm. That's right, it's all a merchandise. That's what employee. I, that's what I, <laughs> yeah. I now actually. It's in the white cloth. Dale and I uh, kind of had a, a chat about a week and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. And sort of caught up and realized that um, we met at Australia at Oscon yeah. in ninety three or ninety four. Uh, whatever that was. Was it? My, was that ninety five? 
I was just was at the end of sludge. Right? No, that yeah. was our that was our honeymoon. Uh, yeah, a year and, and a half we had been later. married eighteen months. So yeah. and then it was ninety four. Three. Was it ninety three? I believe so. Because Josh was still. Okay. No, I think it was. We're just gonna fight for a little bit. Hold on, just a second. Okay. <laughs> no, because it was February, wasn't it? Wasn't it like a? Sp- it was like in February, right? We just. It was like spring yeah. was just starting in Australia. So yeah, I it was, it was hot. No, I would have much rather hung out with you than. Who did you hang out with, man? Were you after the show? Uh, Mark Silvestri. So you were hanging oh, out with that, the image yeah, yeah, right. yeah. They're all those guys were. Well, Mark was oh, there. That's a good. That's a good choice. Yeah, were, but I, you know, it's funny. Choice. It's funny. Like I don't remember meeting you. Like I. I have a good memory. Like I pride myself on my memory. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think you met Shelly because I think you and I just briefly talked. Yeah. I mean, briefly. And then well, we were on was... a panel together and that was about it, really. Well, I did I did a panel. Yeah. See, I don't... Oh, wait a minute, you're, 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 you're touting your memory. I, I know. Mean... I can't remember the panel. I have a horrible memory. So... Oh, I don't no, like panels. No, I think see... I blocked them out. No, 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 you were you were on the far yeah. end, and I was on the other far yeah. end, and it was like Sylvester, and I think Wade yeah. was in there someplace, right? Yeah, that's all right, all right. Oh my I remember god! Saying something, and then kind of looking down, and you were down there at the end, nodding, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, like okay. pretending. Yeah, he gets I was me. pretending. He gets me. He gets what I'm <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jeffrey, one of my favorite people. He's just like, let's say it now. Greatest, over. greatest stream ever. ever. There it is. Yep. Jeff, Jeff is a huge Dale Keown yeah. fan. So, of course he's well, thank you very much. Freaking out all day. Jeffrey Stout. So glad you're here. Oh my gosh. Okay, now check uh, this out. Oh. Now check this out. Right. This is because um, I actually spent more time. We just we talked about this a little bit last week when we spoke. Yeah. That I I ended up talking more with your your rep or your agent who. Um, the surfboard dude, uh, yeah, right, yeah, Bowen yeah, board, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then I did you, and so, and then I got, you know, I got a couple uh, pit cards, yeah, I did for you, and I, that's right, yeah, those were good. Yeah, yeah. The 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 pit cards. Cards. Here we like go, all foil yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. And you did that, yeah, yeah right. I did that. Well done, huh? I didn't color it, but uh, yeah, I got to do that. So that's my wow. claim to fame. Yeah. So and I did a couple Another other one. How cool is that? So yeah, so that's amazing. So here we are, you know, what twenty five years later? Yeah. All of it's crazy. It's so funny because I saw you Look, on uh, like we, need that United. One. we need that one right there. Oh yeah. Uh, uh yeah, Hyper Potato is a big uh, he's a big Atari Force fan and he Love was like tater. he was hoping that this was gonna I usually do draw streams and have people come in and draw and I wasn't gonna put that kind of pressure on you. Um, but he was hoping you'd draw Atari Force and it's like now I usually blow them up for those kind of comments, but we uh, do. I, yeah, you've missed the whole. Yeah. yeah, I saw. I saw the uh, the Joker you did. That was amazing. It's funny because whenever I was in Artist Alley, you know, when you get the sketchbook, yeah, and you go and you go, okay, I gotta see what's before me. <laughs> exactly. And I'd always find a Leprezzi sketch and go, oh no. Oh. I got. I got that. I mean, that is. That's too kind. That yeah, is it's like you know, a lot of pressure there. That is yeah. well, not for me, but uh, well, I see. It's funny we all do that though, right? Because yeah. I, I look. You always look at who's before you, and then it was like, oh, there's an Adam Hughes piece, or maybe there's oh know, yeah, the own piece, or there's yeah. a you know, Simon. Well, you want to find the Simonson. who's going to follow that? Yeah. Right, you want to find one that's not great. And you go okay. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. At least I won't is, be the worst stuff. one in the sketchbook. Yeah. And <laughs> then do the same character, just blow it out of the water. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, hey, Bill. So Don't are you, are you, um, you're in Canada, right? So yeah, I'm you, in Toronto. Are you snowbound right now? No. Really? No, not yet. But we'll probably get a, like a giant snowfall. You're expecting not yet. One? We got a little bit and then it melted. Okay. Yeah. But was- usually, uh, you know, sometime after Christmas, we get like dumped on lake effect, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, I, we, I went to a show in Calgary a couple of years ago. And yeah, I haven't gone to shows in we got the snowed longest in, time. Man. Well, what was the last one I went to? San Diego is probably the last one you mm, went to. Yeah. I think Hawaii. Oh, that's right. Because we San, San, Diego Diego. Keeps, San Diego keeps getting canceled every right. year. So we did that was three or four years ago. 20... Well, yeah. 16? Yeah. Yeah. When I was the last was San Diego? Then. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, maybe it was. When was the last San Diego? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe... Three years would have been three, it'll be three years ago this Maybe July, right? So it would have had to been, yeah. I just go to sleep in, and when I was younger yeah. and fit, I just go to the pool, 
Yeah, or right, go shopping. Right. And then meet you us know, for dinner. Now she important just, stuff. She still just yeah. meets us for dinner. Now I never I see her. <laughs> like, hey, can you come in and help out in the booth? Uh, mm, no, nah, not really. So, well, he will say on Sunday you have to come in because right. I'm shopping. That's right. I got to go get an old comic. So I, I need you to watch. The I booth. sit there the whole time and go, he'll be back. <laughs> he'll be back. No, I didn't draw that. No, I'm not Aaron. He'll be back. Mm-hmm. Come back <laughs> about four. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. All right. One of the things, uh, Dale, before we get into the the heart of what's going on here, uh, is we like. We really push snacking mm. to a whole nother, a whole nother wow. level. level. Advanced so, snacking. That's right. So I've got to, I got to run I a little, spiel. got a little, little intro here. So bear with me for a second. You might Jesus remember this from the good old days at okay. the uh, all right. drive-in theater in Toronto. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Oh, nice. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So we've got gummy bears. That's turned out to be Shelly's favorite. Now we went to the mall and then this like, well, I don't I said, go to the mall. No, I don't like people. My daughter. <laughs> yeah. Not a big fan of people. <laughs> they, I hear you. Yeah. I just, in fact, I was talking to him. I just, I don't know if it's, I don't like big crowds or I just don't like people. And I said, you don't like people. That's your problem. Well, I'm a yeah, school. big crowd, big crowds of people. Yeah, oh, exactly. That makes it even worse, right? Combo platter. Yeah, I, I don't. Mm, yeah, I don't like people like hitting up against me and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it takes me back to my basketball days where if they touched me, I'd <laughs> punch them. Anyway, <laughs> I don't like it. A little, yeah. a little violence. Yeah. Don't play yeah, a little violence the air in the system. Yeah. So these are like uh, cinnamon roasted sort of almonds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we mm. can't snack. It's funny because in the chat, um, I love it. They'll list everybody. Well, not everybody. they'll list what snacks they're having. So, what's everybody having? We're having some um, cashews. Geek Adventures yeah, have cashews, cashews, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Big crowd, sensory overload. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh gosh. We'll get to Dale's stories in a minute. I don't I like plenty. people. Hashtag Team Shelley. Mm, yeah. Dale is my hero, General Piggy. Oh, so cool. Dale oh, is his hero. Nice. Yeah. Diabetes power activate. Yep. What was this? Form of a pancreas. I remember that in the drive-in theaters just after the serial killer attacks. <laughs> attacks your car? That would be that would be a bad night. Oh, Dale is my hero. That's so cute. Yes. I love it. Oh, oh thank you very much. Dinner. So what's this? Snarkcon? I just ate dinner. So we've had some we have some new people tonight, which is really nice. And well, um, that's what happened. Learn. We call that the Dale Keown effect. Right. You have Dale on your show uh, and you yeah, bring but I, Fifty-six. Nice. I totally forgot the snacks, though. Uh, oh, that's right. Well, I didn't he probably didn't him. tell you. I didn't. Because I don't yeah, like I the, should have. you know. I do have them, but. Do you? Yeah. If you want to grab something. Yep. No, no. Okay. Well, you know. Ooh, donut sticks. One, I love donuts. And two, can't wait for Wraith of God. Well, thank it. you. We're excited about it. Why not? Happy Boxing Day. Judge Dredd's eating that's cheese it. puffs. That's. Ooh, my mother, 90 year old mother. I was just going to say us. this. My 90 year old mother who lives with us, she eats the Cheetos, right? But she the, loves them. the extra puffy ones. And she puts on rubber gloves and eats them with rubber gloves so she, doesn't, she doesn't get the get orange all... stuff all over her hands. She's the best. <laughs> but... So funny. That's the best part. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hear over. Oh, too funny. Now, this Ooh, is this... interesting. Yeah. It says Gary Frank is my favorite artist, but Dale is still my favorite Hulk artist. And Gary actually followed you on the Hulk. That's right. Yeah. Work. They were uh, me, uh, Liam Sharp, and then uh, Gary Frank. Yeah, I love Gary. Mm-hmm. I lo- Gary's art is really amazing. Nice Did you ever see uh, that book he called uh, Midnight Nation? Did you ever see that? Mm-hmm. I'm saying, is that what it was called? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, amazing. I never heard of it. I couldn't yeah. verify that. I think it's called The Midnight Nation. Mm. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go back because right. we really, violence is not the answer, Shelly. Okay. So that's just I know. Just I used to be kind of people oh, in the mall. That's not. Um, that's fiery. Eric Boyd giving us his typical diabetes powers yep. activate. Love it. Yeah. Form of a pancreas. Like, we don't always eat like this. Just on Sunday evenings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we wait like work out all week. No. Oh, that's. All right. We worked out in. Yeah. No anyway. <laughs> Dale, you're a Wrightson fan, right? Oh yeah. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, I got it. Look at this. This is an oh, every Sunday. Uh, he likes oh, to bring out the. Oh yep. Yep. Did you get Bernie to Come sign on, where it? Is it? Where is it? No, I wish I did, but never met Bernie. Oh, did you? I met him five or six times. He forgot me every time. Every time. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I, 
And Come on, where is it? Sorry, my favorite. Well, anyway, that was like a look funny at joke. Is yeah, everybody remembered Shelly, and no one ever remembered me. It really well, pissed me off. They only oh. remembered me back in the Lycra spandex. Yeah, I remember this one. Good. I was at San Diego, and I don't know who bought it. I'm assuming it was um, uh, what's the director? Um, hmm. oh. Stephen King. No, no, no. no. I was ready. He's a writer. The guy that the guy that produced the Walking Dead <laughs> stuff originally, Shawshank Redemption. Oh right, uh, uh, a Darabont. Yeah, I, it may have been him, but somebody had that, that original was walking through San Diego, mm. and somebody just bought it for like twenty grand, which would be a steal Ooh, right that'd now. That'd be a good day. Yeah, no kidding, but it sold for a million. Did it? Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> the one that sold for a million. Yeah. Right. I bet but you know who owns the, the, the cover for Pit One? Robert mm. Kirkman. That's right. Mm. Yeah, he owns it. Nice. Very nice. But he didn't buy it from you. No, 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 no. It was long gone. I think I sold it for like seven grand or something. Well, Which, you know, that was, boy, yeah, back in right, the That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was good. I mean, yeah, but then it just kept appreciating in value. And then it sold for like 30, I think. Wow. So like uh, all that artwork that you wish you had, right? Mm -hmm. oh. well, you were telling Those me, darn bills. You were telling me you don't have any of your Hulk stuff. No, right? I don't have any of it. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was a time before people sold artwork where they would just, you know, they would just ask and they'd say, you, want, you wanted this artwork back? And you'd say, okay. But then somebody would go in there and buy it from you before it ended up in your hands for like a low price. And then, but, uh, but back then it was a different situation the, the, the whole collector's market wasn't like right. it is now right so it's almost like you can't blame the guy he was just being a businessman you know right but yeah i don't have any of that old hulk stuff wow. i got like a couple splash pages that are like okay there's but anything with hulk on it is pretty much pretty much gone yeah like That's all like the, the mark farmer stuff the mm -hmm. bob cloud oh yeah well that's what happened with all my planet hulk stuff i pulled some of the pages, you know, I've got yeah. a couple splash pages and things I want yeah. to keep. Right. Everything else is gone. And I continually get people contacting me and they're like, Hey, do you got any Hulk pages? I go, well, I got pages from the Hulk, but the Hulk yeah. isn't on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're good pages and they're, they're good pages. Yeah. But you remember how, how much work you put into them. You mm -hmm. didn't put any less work into those pages as you did the Hulk pages the, with the Hulk on them, it. you know? Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, characters, characters sell, man. That's uh, yeah, exactly. That's just the way it is, you know. Yeah. All right, so every week we run this thing, it's like the rights and image of the day. So, I'm let me run this little short video and let's take a look at the rights and image of the day, Dale. All right, okay, all right, here we go. Yeah, I remember that right. one. That's yeah, I no. saw I saw that one in Bernie Wrightson's A Look Back. You ever see that yeah. one? It's like this thick. It just yeah. it goes all the way back to when he was not very good. He just saw him progress as an artist. It's yeah. amazing. It's an amazing yeah. book. It's For really me, good. His sweet spot was about 1972 to about 1980. Yeah. It was just when he was just yeah. touchable, you know. Yeah. And that was 1970 when um uh Wheezy Simonson Right. Jeff Jones, yeah. which was married to Jeff at the time, and yeah. right, and I think Bruce Jones as well put together that yeah. World of Horror comic. Oh yeah, I remember that. And they did like three issues, mm. and I think the guy that they were that was publishing, they were working with, took off with the money or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, I, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, yeah, he, they had the fourth issue done, but it never saw print. But that was the cover to the third issue. Is that when they were right. all, like together? Yeah, well, in the, in the same, same apartments. Yeah. yeah, and. The story I heard about that was it writes an oil painted, and I think this was like his first oil painting or one of the first ones, and they had to get it to the printer, and he didn't know how long it would take for it to dry, so he actually stuck it in the oven to cook it, <laughs> and dry it, and I guess the thing bowed up on him, and it yeah. just so he said he learned a valuable lesson on that yeah. one. But it's the wrong was, te wrong temperature, you know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god! Had an old wood stove. Oh, yeah. Logs yeah. in there, you know, in the fire. You no, know, it's like even when you're inking, right? And you're using a quill, it just takes forever to dry. So you got blow dryers on it. You're going to maybe just stick it in the I oven. I always know if he's doing that or painting because I'll hear the hair dryer going. Yeah, exactly. I do the watercolors all the time. I'll lay yeah. down a quick yeah. layer of watercolor and hit it with the blow dryer so I can keep going, right? Yeah. So I never use the right kind of paper, though. So I'll use the wrong paper and the thing will just go. So oh, yeah. I got to I got to bring it downstairs. I got to put it between paper and iron it. I got to iron the pages. <laughs> yeah. Because I never get the right paper. Oh, gosh, that's funny. Well, you know, where was where were you? Where your pages were? You were he was at a con where his pages were like curling. Yeah, the humidity. I went, I went to Minnesota. Some, yeah, that happens though. Yeah, it does. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I was in a show at Minnesota, and it never dawned to me that Minnesota would be humid. You know, you think of Minnesota yeah. being cold, right? Yeah, Wisconsin right. Or something exactly. But there's so many lakes around there that it's really humid in the spring and summertime. Yeah, and yeah, there was yeah, a yeah. Show and we were in like um, uh, like a um. What do I want to you were say? In a football stadium, weren't you? No, no, no. Like that a... was in Arizona. Oh, okay. uh, this was like a um, state fair type fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Oh, yeah. There go. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, and they, would, <laughs> they left the doors open, right? Because it was so warm. They wanted to cool. So all yeah. the moisture was coming in, and my pages were literally just curling yeah. oh, on the God. table. You know, and the prints. You bring prints with you, and they start curling up. And yeah. you're just like, oh my oh, gosh. God. Yeah, so, I guess find the right paper. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. but I use uh, yeah. Well, I, 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 I put too, I put too much liquid on there and stuff. <laughs> but then you look at a Bill Sinkavich and it's like this, you know, sometimes. Yeah. So I, I just when the spirit hits you, you just got to draw on whatever. I mean, I like oh, yeah. I've even drawn on paper bags before. Every It's actually not bad. Napkins, is, everything actually, in our house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Between yeah. him and our daughter, everything is is drawn on. Uh, okay. Jeff Stout's giving us 10 bucks. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, That's Jeffrey. very kind of you. He says, hello, Dale. I followed and collected your mm, fantastic hey. work since Samurai 14. Who were your artistic influences mm. and most inspired you? Thank you. You're the best. Nice. At, I mean, yeah. at the time? At the time. Well, well I mean, you know, on, right? Early well, that on. was around. My artwork kind of looked weird because I just discovered Bernie Wrightson. Like Before how that. Are how old were you? Uh, yeah, you probably 20 mid 20s i guess 26 because well, i really so didn't start drawing until i was in my late 20s i mean a comic book me? career wow because i had like i had two other careers and then i wow. went into comic books but it was late you know but i just kept drawing you know but i got you, i got better and better you were a little kid though i mean it's not like you just oh yeah and so when you were 20 but you didn't oh really yeah yeah do it yeah yeah exactly mm. so i'm going to assume that you were chasing a music career right or yeah well, yeah, yeah, of course. You just sort of going from band to band and seeing what happens, trying to meet the right musicians, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, see what happens. It's, you know, you're so young. It's more like an adventure. You right. know, it's like a traveling circus. You're in a different place every week. Yeah. And, you know, and you get to leave at the end, you know, going somewhere else. So it was a lot of fun. I think I was just young and it was just the adventure of it. You know, mm -hmm. I just loved it. Wow. When did part. you when did you come to this sort of realization that hey maybe the whole rock and roll thing isn't going to work out I'm going to try comics I mean how did that decision how did you come to that decision Oh that's a good question because I remember I remember I was about I was in Ottawa I was living with my girlfriend mm -hmm. and I was uh, there was something in the paper that was like a heart cover band they needed a bass player and I'm like yeah this could be fun and then that evening I saw like a, a something on the, on the television. It was like some news report on uh, black and white uh, Canadian comic books and this new company that's creating all these Canadian comic books. And I went, Hmm. Cause I'd already been like drawing when I was on the road, I would draw all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I'd always be drawing. I wouldn't, I'd party sometimes, but most of the time I would draw in my room. And so I was getting better and better. So I remember I had these submissions that I was going to send to Marvel right i had him in my thing and i walked and i heard about where this comic book company was in ottawa canada on this specific street and i went and it was like this victorian converted victorian and i walked in there and it was like wow this is real. all these artists and stuff mm -hmm. and i walked in i had no idea my work was as good as it was because mm -hmm. they, they all started freaking out <laughs> oh my god look at they're freaking out i'm going what's going on and they're looking at my artwork i'm going wow i had no idea what did i do, did I, do? I got i was good enough to work i really wasn't i shouldn't have <laughs> but they gave me a job like the next day and i was drawing comic books i was drawing samurai from um by airsil comics right 
And I don't think I really had any business at that point. I mean, I should have at least done something else until I be became a, a, a comic book artist. But dude, we all started that way. It's like, yeah, hey, hey, but, hey, but hey. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you've, I don't know the last time you, you looked know, at that old stuff. No, I've seen it. I just looked at it recently. <laughs> But, but no, their stuff, he'll dude, say, my stuff is so yeah. bad when this I started. This will never see no yeah, right. Yeah, right. Ever again. Right. They're like, you should sell those. He goes, oh, I don't want these out. Yeah, there. exactly. You don't want you yeah. want to just bury them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, um, all the famous artists had like unfinished stuff that they didn't want anybody to see. It's it's fine. It's like songs. Like you have all these song ideas. You don't never want anybody to hear. You know, because wow. there's so it's like every every yeah. but one out of every five ideas is any good. So. You know, you got a lot, of, but there's a lot of false, uh, uh, a lot of false starts. Well, especially wow. in comics, because it's like, yeah, you do something and then the next month here comes something else and here comes something else. And here, you know what I mean? And yeah. Yeah. When you're freelance, you're just looking for your next gig, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have time to sit and go, no, I'm going to take, you know, another year and really hone my skills so I don't embarrass myself. You know, you're just like, yeah, yeah, dick, yeah. But, you know? but Aaron. Oh, right. You should have married better. I told you that all the time. <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't have to work. But, I was a teacher when he met me. There was no way yeah. I was going to make money. Okay. <laughs> but so you met at a convention or something? No, no actually. We met at church. We met at church. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's been just over 30 years. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, first time in December of 91. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she thought I was. Oh she my likes gosh. to tell this story that when I told her I was a comic book artist. In my head, I said, what are you, 12? Yeah, so that. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. Thought, you know what? I teach middle yeah, school. I, That's what I was teaching at the time. We could probably like, relate to that. I <laughs> hang out with twelve-year-olds all day. Yeah. How yeah, yeah. Yeah. be? And here we are. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Now, Eric the Guapo says, "Why is Eric. Aaron wearing a hat indoors? Did Dale's glorious flowing hair intimidate him?" Now, when I get crap like that, Dale, this is how I respond yeah. in this show. It's like we're all about retaliation here. I wonder if maybe this will intimidate Eric. Let's see. There we go. We got to blow him up, man. You can't well, take you can't, Yeah, what? he deserved that. He, he was looking for, I think we bought him one in Germany and he couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And little did he know that um, I had bought him one for this Christmas. hat, like a hat like this. So I got yeah, those are, I love those hats. Yeah. So I said, okay, we're going off to our son's wedding. So I go, okay, here's the hat. And he's like, oh, great, you got me one. And then I was like, well, I guess I better get him some other colors since so he's going to be living head. in them. His right. head gets cold. That's right. So, no, yeah. I know. They're great. Oh, they wow. Yeah, there you go. I rock and roll hair anymore like yeah. you do. So it's like I got to yeah. cover this up and keep warm. I was thinking about that today. Going, months. Maybe I could like, I don't know, I could share some of my yeah. hair. <laughs> <laughs> share your hair? <laughs> so you can just I lay, a lay it over the top of my head. Yeah. All right. So did <laughs> you, as a kid or young teenager or whatever, did you ever read comics? Were you a comic books fan? Oh, that? my God. Oh, my like, God. So oh, give me dude. some um, <laughs> Dude, was I? Oh, my God. Well, you know, I mean. Oh, uh, so, what did you oh, read? Oh. What did you read? Okay, I had, I remember there was a, like years and years where I had my box of comics. Yeah. And even when we went on summer vacation, I'd bring the box with me. Like I couldn't part with my comics. I used to do that too. I used to put it in my like, yeah. suitcase. I had to have my comics. Vacation, yeah. Yeah, and, and it was a lot of like Herb Trimpy Hulks. Yeah. Uh, and I had a uh, subscription. And my subscription from Marvel when I was like 14, I guess, was uh, Incredible Hulk, yeah. Nova, uh, Tarzan, John Buscema, and yeah. Godzilla, yeah. Godzilla, yeah. Godzilla uh, Herb yeah. Trimpy. Yeah, so you oh, they were just so good, man. Yeah, so you were those are the my four the four comics that I, I would actually show up in my mailbox. Okay. I was over oh. the moon when they showed up. It was like, oh my god. I know, wasn't that that was the exciting oh we I were couldn't like, believe I couldn't believe I was getting comic books delivered to my door. <laughs> it's like that's what? what I feel about Amazon now. So yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> even worse. See, you say your memory's good, mine is so bad by the time it gets here, I have forgotten what I've ordered. And it's like I've done it. Been there, <laughs> and then I go. I am so good. There's multiple yeah. packages showing up this house daily, and there's no one knows what they are. And Shelly's like, oh, I must have ordered something. <laughs> Sometimes I, and kind of in my sleep, I. But hey, Mandy's here. That's Mandy's first time. Oh well, see. Hey, Dale's Mandy. Bringing them in, Mandy. Um, hey, Mandy. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh no, I was the same way because we we didn't have like social media and all that kind of crap, right? Obviously, no, in the no, 70s. no, oh, not so at all. Not even close. Ordered, well, it is crap. If you ordered. <laughs> If you ordered a book or something or a yeah. comic or 
he would just wait for the UPS guy to show up yeah. with this cardboard mm-hmm. box that you knew had that book in it you ordered or whatever yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, I used to, I had a subscription to the comic book buyer's guide, you know, CBG. The oh yeah, book. absolutely. Oh my gosh. When that came, that was like, I did too. Yeah. You comic are book still heaven, like that. Right. You I know, love that. Yeah. All the ads and stuff. And you're like, Oh, I, you know, they would, cause all those guys were doing like portfolios and all these really cool art books, yeah, Rice right. and Smith and those guys. And they were oh, yeah. ads. I discovered so much from that. Oh yeah. Like that was my lifeline. You yeah. know, I would go down to the comic book shop. That's what I would get if I didn't get anything else, you know? Was, that was the that was the newspaper thing, right? Right, right, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. right. And, and and that doesn't exist anymore. No. Oh. Sadly. Well, hmm. fandom isn't quite. There yeah. used to be so many fanzines and stuff going on, and that you know that were cool that you'd pick up, and guys could get their start in it in fanzines. Right. You know, like there's like I remember I had one that had like this five page. <laughs> what are you, you spitting, just, spitting up all over yourself? I'm so excited <laughs> to have a white claw that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. No, Sorry. Uh, there was one I had that, that had like a five-page Mike Zek Submariner story in it, right? right? Before he even worked at Marvel, but you could see the stuff. You could say, "Well, this guy's really good." Yeah. You know, and then eventually, it, you know, Mike Zek, of course, is awesome. But yeah. Um, but you'd get a fanzine or something, and there'd be somebody like that in there. You know. Yeah. yeah. You'd never heard of it. John Byrne. You know, would be doing fanzine work, and you'd pick something yeah. like that and see it, and then you know, five years later, he's drawing Iron Fist or whatever. So. Yeah, that early stuff. And he had this robot. Remember that robot thing he did? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was great. I love that. It was like a backup in Charlton Comics or something. It was. Yeah. Um, the something 2000. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Memory. Rog, Rog my 2000. memory is supposed yeah. to be good. Rog 2000 or something. Yes, thank you. Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. All right. You got the 2000 part. David's got a. Oh, my gosh. I was just going to say David's got a good one in there. David Williams is here. Hey, hey Rohawk. Challenge love you to go into a drawing contest. He will kill your, your ass, ass just like <laughs> I did. Uh-oh. Give it to him. Give it to him. See, can I can I it. steal that? I want to steal that. Yeah, uh-huh. do it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I got it. No, Trademark. anytime uh, right. anytime anybody Keep drops uh, you know foul there language on the show. We've got to warn the kids at home that, that there's was a, good a possible one, language alert. That yeah, was a no, good that was one. a good one. That him good. back a lot. So <laughs> oh um, my gosh. Yeah, we got there's the verification. Dojo Kun Comics is verifying it was indeed ROG two thousand. Mm. You're so smart. How do you remember stuff? I can't even it's remember what I had stuff. for lunch yesterday. It's the useless stuff we remember, right? So but it's like, you yeah. never know when you'll be on a game show. That's right. Trivial Pursuit. Oh, he I'm kicks tough, ass but in Trivial Pursuit. Is that right? You, yeah, if you oh. want, yeah, but if you want actual meaningful But he can't remember garbage oh. day, although you're getting much better That's, at it. But what about just certain topics or everything in general? If it's like pop everything? Culture, pop culture, it's yeah. It's pretty it good. Stay. I might do okay in music, but it depends yeah. on the era because... I, <laughs> Although you I, know. Do, I do all right music as long as it yeah. was 80s, yeah. 80s, well, that's 80s, 80s, 80s. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I'm I'm about I'm like yeah. you know 19. Big hair bands. I'm all. Yeah. Oh, really oh like yeah. Those. I'm all about the hair bands. Yeah. Oh so yeah. Gotta, for me, it's 1970 chat. to about 1988, <laughs> 89, oh, and then no. I'm that's it. Anything after that, I I tuned out. Twisted mm. Sister, expression. Cinderella, yeah. Rat, all right. Dale, we also do this thing where I go Queens rank. Queen. <laughs> uh-huh. When people ask me, like, what oh, concerts did you go to? I was like, oh, you don't want to know. Oh, Ronnie James Dio. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh huh. Did you see uh, the Queens Rank Alive? I don't think no. so. I saw I Death Leopard once. That. Ooh, nice. The best sounding concert I'd ever heard. Bad. It was amazing. Who? I went right. Def Leppard. This was back in. Uh, yeah, Pour some sugar on me. Um, like nine, I, uh, late eighties. I went from like yeah. those kind of concerts to like. I went with a friend to um, really like going to Cinderella and Rat and. Yeah. Uh, I loved those guys. Poison. Oh. Oh yeah. Right. Um, but then I saw like. Oh. Um. Gosh darn it. I'll remember. But it was like one of those bands where you're like I had front row seats to like minute work. That's what. It was. <laughs> But very, I was like, this very is, eclectic I, taste. He's one of my best friends. I just love it. It probably sounded great, though, right? Oh, yeah. But yeah. I thought I was all that back in the <laughs> like, oh, minute work. I went and saw a police concert, <laughs> and that was it. That's the only concert I ever went to growing up. Yeah. And then in 96, when I was in a studio here in Portland called Studio Saurus with That's Terry right. Dodds and Matt Haley. Yeah, all those guys. guys. Right? right. We went to go see Kiss on their first reunion tour. Oh, lucky. So they mm-hmm. weren't even, they were even 50 yet and they seemed old right at the time. Yeah, yeah, right. 
And that's when they had Ace Freely and Peter Chris rejoined them. Rejoin, yep. And it was, we were on the side and the stage was set up at one end of the um, the Memorial Coliseum. Well, it was the Rose Garden yeah. actually now, the right. new right. arena right. there for yeah. the Trailblazers. But so we were right on the, the edge there, kind of, you know, second level. But Gene Simmons was, I'm not kidding, 12 feet away from us. Oh, you know, so did you yell, I love you. Yeah, we are going, I love Gene, you, Gene. Oh, yeah. did, did you throw your panties <laughs> on the stage? No, but they were handing out passes to these girls in the stands. That they had guys out there. Like, oh, of course, yeah. They, they were finding out, like, you know, the hot chicks in the crowd, and they would, like, hand them, like, a backstage pass. And we were nice. like, that's what they do, right? They go, yeah, so and so, that one there, that one yeah. over there. Yeah. Well, you're the rock and roll star, man. You should know. No, that. I never. <laughs> 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 you never, you never, got I never experienced that. I mean, there was a little, yeah, a little bit, but not much. Uh, we played like the Northern Ontario. So, you know. <laughs> oh, I think like, that crowd was like a mark. I mean, they were great people, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what do they say? What, what, what like a huge <laughs> crowd necessarily. Like a, <laughs> like a north, uh, like a northern town. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like a northern ten is like a California negative four. It's like, <laughs> I mean, but when in Rome, what the hell? You know? <laughs> hey, now speaking of, speaking of rock and roll, now um, are you familiar with the Jerry Doucette? Oh, of course. Oh, dude, Mama, let him play. Yeah. Oh my God! I just I I sent I sent Mandy that song. I sent it to her. I, I wanted to know if she if she heard it because it's a Canadian song, right. but it it broke through into the states. Yeah, yeah. Because wow, the album it was called "The Deuces Loose." The Deuces Loose. Eight, I think, and it had uh, it had Rita on it. Yeah. It was about a yeah. song about this girl he'd met in Portland, Oregon, while doing a show, which is where I'm from. And so I got that album, and I thought this guy, this red haired dude with a beard. I said, yeah. this guy rocks. He can really jam. And so it was He's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I so. met him. I met him. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> but he he was like, such a dick. Oh, was he? <laughs> <laughs> well, we met a few of them. Like, I don't know if you if you knew what I looked like back then. I looked very androgynous. Like, I, you know, I'm not a, like a manly man. So <laughs> he kept referring to me as the other guitar player's girlfriend. Oh. And I'm like, I said, how much should I, how much of this shit should I take? Of yeah. course, he's a big, he's a bigger guy than me. I'm like a, a yeah. uh, like a buck seventy five soaking wet, and uh, I just let him do it. I just, what an asshole! <laughs> oh, he was just a dick. Bunny says we need a lang language alert. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> that's your. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I, that's where I, that's, that's my role is kind of like that's where I come from. So well, I usually kind of, get the language alerts when we're uh, off screen. No. It's just it's what? just stick, Dale. Don't, oh, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. I, I won't I won't language and alert. What do I say? No, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm holding back. I'm holding back. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I always explain god, to people we're just a couple of dorks having fun. So yeah, well, I, I started uh, doing that as a joke uh, because I had people come on and they would say, "We love watching your show, Aaron, because it's the only one we can watch that is clean, so I, my kids can watch it." So I had, so I thought, "Okay, I'm going to get a language alert. So if anybody comes on and swears, I can hit the language alert oh, and gosh, warn the kids." Funny. Oh my goodness. Uh, should have a little bell. Ding, 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 ding. I oh, know. Yeah. I am. Well, who does? Oh, Billy does that. Yeah, Billy Tucci oh, does, does he? Oh, yeah. Really swears. No, I, I swear like a sailor. So no, that's okay. Well, but but some of the most people, famous people in the world, swear a lot. So yeah. everybody does. Mark Twain was like. Oh yeah. Oh. Swearing well, potty mouth. I hear. I was sitting. I was sitting on a plane with. I won't mention his name, but a pretty prominent comic book writer back in the day, and uh huh. He was, just was not speaking oh. softly. And speaking, I mean, just projecting f bombs, just flying, and I'm like, dude, there are kids sitting around us. There are people that probably don't want to hear. It was really sort of. I was embarrassed for him because I was like, dude, seriously, give me a hand. Give me a with a bunch of people you don't know, and you're shouting f bombs at the top of your lungs. It's just like, God. give me a hint. Who was it? Give me a. Give us a hint. No, come on, come on. I'll tell you. After the show. Come on, look at the chat. The chat's got it. So we know that. <laughs> needs a white Lewis, claw yeah, it depends on how many. <laughs> how many and white then claws it's, she's it's had? Exponential. Um, right, right. Okay, I should explain. I'm a math teacher. Well. Oh I'm, wow, that's cool. I'm a physics teacher actually now, but. Oh, oh I was horrible so, in math. 
Super I'm no, horrible. I'm my girlfriend laughs, laughs at me all the time because I got to use my fingers. Oh, that's okay. You just, <laughs> hey, as I tell whatever people, whatever works, man. She you laughs you so me. much. It's okay. Not that I think I'm okay. 50 plus five plus. Okay. <laughs> exactly. That's terrible. I, like this all the time. I can't add. I can do calculus. Oh, but I can't awful. Add. I did then, horrible in school. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have the right. It's terrible. I was, well, it was awful. It was terrible. I, I have I, I have nightmares like college. I go all I think I remember about calculus is like, crying. Yeah, she's oh. calculus in college and getting straight A's and going. Oh, no, this is so I was hard. all I did was cry because oh, I was like I don't get it. Yeah, well you did, but get straight A's. But Aaron, did you were you good in school? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. I, well, I, got, I I was okay. I was good in math until my junior in high school. Yeah. Once I got a, a trig and everything was fine. But when I got into pre calc, man, I just it was another language. Yeah. Oh. Well, just, I, I just, so it's it's. It's different, but what's funny is the year we got married, mm. I was a teacher at his old high school, right? And the head volleyball coach. Wow! And so I shared a classroom with one of his basketball coaches, right? And so when I would meet new people, they'd be like, Low Presti. Do you know an Aaron Low Presti? And I'd go, <laughs> I married him, and they'd just <laughs> be like, "What?" Because he was the guy that did the announcements, and you yeah. know. So yeah, that was really funny. They'd be like, "Oh, you married him," and then they'd kind of be like, "Oh," and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait a minute. That's oh. you're sending a <laughs> oh. yeah. but yeah, that it's was fun. that was kind of fun. All right, Dale, talking about old comics, which we were a few minutes ago, uh -huh. we have this little thing that I like to go back and take a look at something in 1976, what it cost uh -oh. and what it's worth now. Oh gosh. Okay, so, oh that's nice. Let me run this little okay, this here and we'll get right into it. How about those graphics? Okay. That's awesome. So tell me. <laughs> so tell me, you I'm sure you've seen this one floating around. Mm, nine two. Hmm. Okay. Now get a load of this. This is the first appearance of Moon Knight, right? Werewolf by Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Right. This was came out in about 76. Now in 1976, and I've got the price guide right here. Is that Romita? That's no, this is Eisner. Oh, oh you yeah. the cover to this? Yeah. That's Gil Kane. Oh, right. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know. I was, I was way off. <laughs> well, Romita may have inked it. But, um, yeah, yeah. but we yeah. got the 1976 price guide, which was the first one I bought and uh, with an Eisner cover. But anyway, so back then, you could have bought this baby for 40 cents. Yeah, okay. 40 cents. You know what it's going for now? 41. <laughs> A little bit. See if your plan <laughs> price is right. A little bit higher. Eight grand. For a nice oh, what, what? Okay, yeah. First appearance. All right, I get yeah. it. Yeah, okay. that's not bad. Reason, I, I, I could totally get like that. One of those books, the characters that it, it never could sustain a book very long without getting canceled. But he's yeah. always been super popular, and this is just like it's been a hot book forever. And now with the television show coming out, right? You know, it's even going even more. So wait, there, what? Wait, back up. Yeah. There's a television show coming out. Dale, Dale, I didn't know. He's in Canada. I, oh, so that's an excuse. They don't have TV. In, no, He's I'm kidding. North. Dude, I don't pay attention to stuff. <laughs> no. Shelly is like feeding me information. Now. It didn't reach yeah. me up here. <laughs> I I normally don't. I think like it, for years, I didn't like know what was going on, but lately, oh, now she's tuned in. Oh, no, mm -mm -mm. but I don't know if it's Netflix or Disney. Someone in the chat probably knows, but it's coming up with um that dude Oscar Isaac who was the uh, oh oh yeah. In the new Star Wars movies, so oh yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. So he's playing, he's playing the dude. He is. He's playing, uh, he's playing the werewolf. Yeah, he's not. No, he's playing Moon Knight. Oh geez, okay. Although they're saying that the werewolf by night actually might show up. Well, I hope so in the show because that makes it good. Well, you right? never know. So anymore. anyway, let me let me okay. Let me do one more thing. And then Wait, are there are there any any trailers out there? Not Moon yet. Not that what I've about seen. the uh, the 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 Vampire one. What's his name? Morbius. Morbius. Yeah. I haven't seen anything other than the initial trailer. So I don't have. It could be I good, hope. though. It could I be good. I hope it is. I mean, the trailer looks interesting, but if you can't make a trailer look good. Yeah. I just love the way that the it looks when he's full vampire. It's so cool. Yeah. It looks just like. Yeah. It's good, right? Oh, cool, yeah. So I'm hoping, but I don't know. These Hollywood types get a hold of these characters and yeah, you, yeah. you never know what you're getting, right? Yeah. So, all right. How's your snacks? It's really good. Excuse me, okay. while I'm eating on camera. Mm -hmm. That's like so rude, but I gotta it's do it. It's what we do. It's how we stay so 
Look at okay. That. Look at that. Aaron is auditioning for the werewolf role. He has hairy, furry oh. arms. Okay, it could be worse. You could have said it about could me. Be. It could be. See, now, Ooh. if Hyper Potato had hairy arms, this would blow the hair right off his arm. So, Tater! There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we do this thing. Okay. Oh, no. That... And you uh -oh. can actually, you may, you, may, you, can, you can I'm participate. scared. We, we you're frightening. To, you're frightening me. No, no, uh -huh. no. We, this she is on Shelly. We try to find out yeah. what Shelly knows, but if yeah. she gets stuck, feel free to, to jump in and help her. <laughs> I don't know. Right. A lot. I just know a lot about one little thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I, I've this. got all these like little cute little intros that I've got to run. So hang on one okay. second. Here we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, okay, you're right. I okay. love you. I love that. That's amazing. Okay. Here we go. All right. I've got I've got the top 10 New Year's resolutions. Oh gosh. Every year that people make. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The so, obvious ones. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Shelly, I wanted to know if you know can you give me five yeah. of the top 10 New Year's resolutions that people make every year? The most popular ones. Mm -hmm. Wait. Lose Sorry. weight is on there. That's one. Mm -hmm. Read more. Let's Oh, don't even. No. Oh, okay. See, I said exercise more. Yep. Um, yeah. Dale, you got one? Don't in your helper out. Oh, uh, I had it. I just had it. Um, I'm, the chat's going crazy, right? We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to you. <laughs> just um, refer to the chat. Okay, yeah. Stop smoking, maybe. Yeah, that's a huge one. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Um, okay, lose weight. Work out more. Yep, exercise. Okay, that's good. Number one. Work out more would be actually exercising for me at this point right. <laughs> i used to teach aerobics like 20 years i taught aerobics and yeah. and now they couldn't pay me enough um okay resolutions me neither uh, by the way <laughs> uh find time for your hobby wow look at her go oh wow learn, that's a, good one. learn a new skill or a uh -huh. hobby is number four. Oh, mustache man is telling me i can do this okay uh oh now this is not my new year's resolution okay, right okay stop drinking you know, or that like is, drink less. That, that's not on here. Can you believe Well, there's some 10? smart people in. Um, that's let's not see. on here. Let's see. Somebody says, um, ooh, make amends. Uh, I don't know. I would make, make my top I'm going to check with the 30. judges. I don't think we can okay. take that. That's kind of close, but that's not quite a. How about a new job? No. Yeah, that's low. Uh, new relationship. <laughs> No. A functional one. Um, uh, I mean, the relationship is involved, but they, you guys haven't really stated it correctly yet. So what? I just need one more from you out of this top ten list. Come on now, give me one more. Um, uh, we got the big ones already, though. Be nicer. That's good. No. Yeah, but I, I I don't have it in me. It's really um, hard. It's hard to do though. So it is because people piss me off, <laughs> and so therefore. Um, <laughs> Um, it's hard to be nice when everybody's pissed me uh, off all the time. I totally get it. People. God, I hate people. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. I don't know. Joe well, I'm, wait, said, I'm a person. Oh, Joe's got one. No, oh, well, okay, but not yeah, all your people. Example. Just yeah. <laughs> not me. Please. See, yeah. Joe Bernardo thinks a good news resolution would be to buy pit back issues. Oh yeah, they're going so there for it. Go. I don't get money. that money. Eat better. Either. Eat better. But yeah, buy buy as much pit as you can. Of yeah, course. exactly. Eat better. Uh, no, that's, always... because that's like lose weight. Eat better would be like lose weight, wouldn't it? But what what is it? What, what's the one low on the list? The lowest one is, oh, read more. Okay, you were right. <gasps> I'm sorry. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so Shelly got, okay, here we go. That's I know five. stuff. I that's know five. stuff. Okay. Okay, yeah. one is exercise, two is Clearly. lose weight, yeah. three, get organized. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. That's so true. Yeah, like clean up and stuff. <laughs> Hang on a second. Shelly oh, just dropped a just dropped an S bomb. Hang on a second here. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. She just did it again. One more time. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So I'll say get it. organized. Yeah. Then new learn new skill or hobby, which is number I four, did. right? Yeah. Live life to the fullest. I'm not really sure what that means. But oh, that's oh, that's oh. very general. I mean, oh. yeah. Okay. That's like everything. Here's a good one that I think most of us do: save money or spend less. <laughs> I <think laughs> twenty. Okay, well, my either. That's a great response. Kind of like, are yes. you kidding me? Right. <laughs> nice was, idea. Can always quit smoking. Oh, mm -hmm. and here we go. Spend more time with your family and. Friends. I was going to say that. Oh, I was. Gosh. I was going to say spend more time oh, with your children. Gosh. I have ruined my reputation. <laughs> 
Oh, Shelly. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the best one. <gasps> Shelly got a foul little mouth. She does. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm, sorry. The kids are grown, so, you know. My little um, and nine, of course, was travel more. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, for and certain then, of course, people. And was read more. So, Shelly, you did, <gasps> get, did get five that. of them. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. Shelly yeah. knows stuff. Yeah, so Shelly well, does knows resolutions. Know resolutions. That, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Okay. Less right. cussing is on my list. Mm, good luck. Uh, I know. People are like, get to the meat. Get to the Dale yeah. Keown done all the interviewed. But I've got one more thing. Now i got to run <gasps> oh, one more. My favorite. This is my favorite thing. i got to run one more short video, Dale. Then I'm going to just yeah. grill you on your entire career. Are you ready? Bring yep. it in. Okay, this is something I like to call uh, precious moments precious? from yesteryear. Is it precious? Uh, we'll find out. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Gosh, I can't <laughs> believe you did that to me again. She hates that, that was not precious. <laughs> she hates that Nosferatu clip, so I keep working. So I was looking I at the Santa going, what is this? And then whoop. He does this to me. I'll bet that's uh, you know what movies, isn't it? Theo? Do you know what it really gets my girlfriend? Is there's a scene in the the beginning of Six Feet Under where it's like these hands sort of all gooey, and I, I send her that like she hates those hands. Yeah, yeah, no thanks. In the intro of Six Feet Under, yeah, mm -mm. she hates that so much. I cannot believe. Well, well, there was one where you blew up. He knew I knew it. it. Sequential knew See, it was yeah, coming. He you knew it, was it coming. and I didn't, and I got closer to the screen. Even that's how dumb I am. <laughs> um, you blew it up though. A few weeks ago, so it shouldn't. <sighs> I cannot believe you did that. Oh, my favorite part, precious moment. Well, I thought. You know how many last... times it's been precious? Two. I know, but but it was our last. This is our last show before the New Year, so I wanted to get that Nosferatu clip in there. So what's your one resolution? Last time. What's your resolution? I haven't made more. Nos Nos oh Nos my god! Nos hey, you can never have uh, Nosferatu, no. right? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. That? Have you seen? He, the he's the coolest looking vampire. Yeah. Oh, oh, by far. It's not mm -hmm. even close. I mean, I don't like vampires, but I love Nosferatu because he's more like a monster than he is. Just a dude, right? Oh, yeah. So. Did you watch? Did you watch True Blood? I did. Oh, I love that. Well, I, I liked it in the beginning, and then it kind of went right. Then it went right to like vampire. Blood. Exactly. Yeah, I know. But I they know. had this one character that was like a thousand years old. Yeah, you're thinking. Remember? He's seen some stuff. Oh man. Yeah, I like. I can't imagine. Um, the blonde guy. Oh. But then the guy killed himself because he was, he just couldn't handle it anymore. Well, yeah. A thousand well, years. That's a long time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's in wrinkles. Oh, yeah, exactly. Randy Howell sent us Botox. To Canada. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate that very much. All these red alerts could inspire Dale to play the Star Trek theme on oh. his guitar. Oh, I'll learn it. I'll learn it. <laughs> well, I, learned, I learned the Vader. So. Next time, you we, you're going to play Star Our Trek. Our daughter, so. her number no, one I will. thing on her list for Christmas was a ukulele. She knows ah. one tune, and she played it. They made up. Well, yeah. they sang we sing every any song, song you can think of with the same, that one tune. The same yeah. chords. You know? And yeah. it wasn't tip to tip toe through the tune. No, no it was um yeah. what was it? Oh, it's one of the SpongeBob songs I think. Oh, okay. Campfire. Campfire song. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty okay. that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. she's she's so Aaron. It she, She's very artistic, but she, she can't. Is she, so well, she's, she's a dancer. Aaron. She's an artist. Yeah. She oh. likes to dabble in music a little bit. So Wait, how old, how old is she? She's twenty. She's turned twenty. Oh, okay. okay. And then our twenty-eight year old that just got married. Wow. Is an engineer. Yeah. So oh, really? he's me, but yeah. he's not around. So I don't have like yeah. somebody to make a list with or <laughs> logically with or yeah. yeah okay. Great. Dale, let's get into this, man. Right. Enough fooling around. Enough let's get into this, the good stuff. This is here. where Shelly's not needed. What? The people, the people want to know about about you. So wait, can I get a drink? Yeah, do please. Absolutely. I think I might have one. Look at that! Look at yeah. that scary one eye. Mm -hmm. that scary eye. He's that got. No, that's cool. fine. We we okay. We so can let's cover go back to you. the um, comments because we have just been not good. Um, well, you know, there's a lot going on. It's hard. I know to, it's kind of exciting. Oh, this is what I need. Finish the underground bunker and hide from humanity. That's yep, for sure. That's what I need. You know? I just, yeah, I don't like We get to buy so all much. that dry food and canned Especially food and stuff. Especially like, oh, yep. Especially like right now. Yeah, people. Mm. Mm, let's see. 
Hey, Eric Boyd. Oh, Nos- Eric. Nosferatu Returns. I know you guys saw they it. Wanted it. I, they wanted it. I did not so I gave see it, it coming at all. And <laughs> I know. I, I feel foolish. I in. feel foolish. I suckered you in. You did. Wow. <clears throat> okay. All right. Apex right. is here. Where's my bunny's my here. I saw um, Ibex. I'm glad you're back from your, um, your dog's <laughs> emergency <laughs> needs. I'm trying to go um, over Let's see what else. <gasps> oh, everyone's near is back wraith of god yeah, right there you go that's because we that's are we are approaching 120 I know, and at 120 there. there's some there's another stretch things. goal yeah, that's there like is. the ace right. of spades right but i think Franklin. that's where ah i'm back okay. sorry i think that's, that's right. where i dye your beard yeah it's gonna get crazy at and then i have to drink six white well i'm not okay. sure i could do all right it. all right dale yeah thing and this is this i actually want to know some of this stuff too um okay. So you, you, started, you started the conversation a while ago about you working at Aircell, right? Yeah. That was the oh, yeah. first comic job. Yeah. So how did you go from, you know, the, the Samurai Fort? Was it Samurai Fort? What was it? Samurai? Samurai. And then you did yeah. Dragon Force or you did some Dragon Dragon Force? Ring and then Dragon Force. Right. Ooh. Right. So how did, how did you get from that to Marvel? Oh, oh, um, let me think. Well, actually it was, uh. I'd been doing, I'd been really practicing my, practicing my inking. Mm-hmm. And so it was actually, I think Joe Rubenstein saw something I had done. Right. You know, Joe. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, he brought, uh, he said, Hey man, uh, I don't know. It's almost like he prides himself on finding talent. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I was working for independent and I, yeah, he saw my inking and he went, Oh, so he actually phoned me up. He got my number. Oh really? Or he, he, he sent his number through Barry Blair, but Barry Blair was like, he didn't want to give it to me. <laughs> he didn't want to give it to me for the longest time. Like he, he held on to that Joe Rubenstein number. Like it was, you know, he's held on. And finally one day he went, anyway, here's Joe Rubenstein's number. He wants you to call him. And so I called him and he basically sort of brought all my stuff to uh, the editors at Marvel, you know? But well, actually, was- I, I sent him stuff first. <laughs> You know? He actually showed your stuff around Marvel. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And yeah. I assume that Bobby Chase was the one who gave you a call. Yeah. Um, I think she liked my work the most. Mm-hmm. There's something about it she liked. So she gave me like a uh, call and put me on what they call the active list, right? Right. The famous active list, which means they can call you up at any time and give you a job. And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm on the active list. Ooh, I felt so, so important. And so, but, but first of all, she was going to offer me She-Hulk because Byrne was leaving. And I was like, what? I'm going to be like replaced. Like, I really didn't feel ready for that. You know what Dude, I mean? I got offered that too. Must yeah, really? Too. Yes. Right after Byrne. But go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I said, I was, want, I thought, okay, I'll take that, you know? Mm-hmm. And then that didn't happen. And then the next thing was, oh, we have the Hulk. And I'm like, What? <laughs> I couldn't believe I couldn't believe it. Like yeah. the one book, my favorite book in the whole world. Right. And I got offered it. I'm like, what am I in some kind of like Twilight Zone or something? This is so weird. So that that issue of the Hulk, which was, I think I have it right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, 262. Right there. 367, right? With the same cover. <laughs> I, was right? co- I was so off. <laughs> I was so I didn't. How do? <laughs> how do I? How am I in this business? It's, it anyway. was a while ago. It was yeah. While. So yeah, that's the one. That's a Walt Simonson, famous Walt Simonson cover, right? And, and so- the story is like the Hulk gets poisoned, right? And he's like losing muscle. T- he's like just wasting away into like a skeleton. Right. 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 It was gray, right? So you were doing oh, I loved this, it. sort of emaci- emaciated gray Hulk. I yeah, and he kept getting thinner and weirder looking, and uh, and then so Mar- uh, Marie Severin inked it. Really? <laughs> That's kind of this, this this silence, like Marie. No, no, Severin. no, no. It, didn't, it just didn't dawn on me that. Yeah, that- right. They got Marie Severin, and I remember. Uh, I hate to say this. Is she still alive? Marie no, Severin. I think she passed away recently. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, but, I yeah, yeah. But she, like, but my, if you, if you saw, I mean, I, I like it now. Like I look at her inking and I go, yeah, I, I appreciate it. I like, actually like it. But at the time I was like, oh, cause all that detail I put in was just like gone. Oh, see, so just like. 
and 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 uh, Bobby Ch Bobby Chase even apologized for it. It's like oh, oh I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I looked at it and I went, oh okay. But that was my first my first thing. I actually before that I did uh, what was it like a what the? Remember what the? Yeah, did you? So I was working. Oh my yeah, God. what the? Uh, I did. Paths were crossing like really weird in our. That's uh, the first thing I ever did for Marvel was what the. Me too. Yeah, and then I went. I did Ant Man, and I remember she said, "I got Ant Man." I go, "Ant Man? Oh, sure, I'll do Ant Man." But she went, <laughs> <laughs> "Ant Man," which is like this sort of unknown a series that happened where it was, uh, you know, Ron Wagner. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was the artist, and it was Fred Fredrickson, I think, who inked it. I, that I it was great. He inked my stuff, and uh, and actually, I really like that story. It's actually really. I'm really. Ha I'm really happy with it. Man was a series. I don't even. Remember yeah, this. like to the nth degree, Nth Man. I don't remember that at all. So you actually did that before this issue of the Hulk. That's right. That was the second job I ever did, and then I went from that to the Hulk. So it's basically I was on like a seventy five dollars a page list. You know, yeah. that's mm -hmm. how much I got paid in the beginning, and then it bumped up to like eighty five, and then. It's actually not that much more now, but <laughs> yeah, I, know. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it was with inflation. It's really I not know, that much. Much. It. We're probably I, I mean, I was work. That. I didn't get any kind of a page increase for years. Like I had no idea because I wasn't under contract. Right. You know, I just had like somewhere in the Marvel ether, there's written what they pay me. And that's what they right. paid me. You know, I, I, had, well, I had no say in it. That was my first page rate was 70 or 75 bucks. Yeah. Starting, and, right. <clears throat> you know, okay, so then, so this then, let me bring up something else. Uh oh, no, 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 this is, this, <laughs> I only bring up the good stuff, bro. So, oh, this is when, no, I like that one. Th yeah, this is, this is when you started. As oh my god, this is life. like, this is your life. What the yeah, fuck? well, that's exactly what right. Oh, 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 I, I swore. Did you? I missed it. I said so the F word. word. Did you? I didn't even hear it. So I was talking, didn't hear it. So I'm not going to bust you for if okay. I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so is you that, is that how it works? Yeah, exactly. If I didn't okay. hear it, it didn't happen. I like so it. I like it. If um, so, you did that first issue of the Hulk, right? And then there yeah. was an issue after that, which I think was like, um, uh, was it Sam Keith? Yes. After this one, Sam Keith, because uh, Bobby Chase had promised Sam Keith a fill in, so she gave that to him. And so you kind of got prepped to start. You got a little, maybe a little time ahead to start yeah, on the regular monthly bit. book. Yeah. Right. And you started with this one. Yeah. Pretty much. And that was at Bob McLeod, I think, inking. Yeah. So McLeod inked you. Um, I, oh, I, I, oh, my favorite. It was my favorite. I thought he did a really good job. In fact, I, oh. thought, I thought the inkers you got. For he's the such a nice guy, really man. Nice I met him like three times and he's just a great guy. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So. so how how long was it into the Hulk before you started getting kind of well? How many do I want to put this? I want to I want to I want to allow you to be humble if you'd like to be, but at the same time, you you work on a book like that, and and the you start getting buzz. Buzz starts going around the industry that oh, this guy's doing some really cool stuff. Right. How long was it into your Hulk run where you started to realize, hey, I'm you know I'm getting noticed. Maybe that's the best way to put it. No, I never noticed. I have you notoriously so self, a low self esteem, so I was no. <laughs> yeah, just like, club, I didn't think about that. I, my ego did not take a hit at all. I mean, so, it didn't increase. So there was never. Was there a point where you're like, "Hey, you guys aren't paying me enough," you know? Mm -mm. I'm out on the Hulk, and you just kind of went with it. I was just happy to be doing this, man. I, mean, yeah. I didn't give a shit. I thought I was getting paid too much. Now that one, I heard. <laughs> so now I've got to bust you for that. Hang on a second. Okay, now we're back. It's all good fun. It is. Um, oh man! Oh, hey, Frega he Boom's in there. Hey, Frega. There he goes for two bucks. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate Love that. Me some Dan. Frega Boom. Um, <clears throat> bring him in. <laughs> now this was interesting. When then we'll have a lot of swearing. I think there you go. We'll get all. Yeah, that's right. When I'm on everybody else's show, it's like, but yeah, on mine, I got to control it a little bit. Uh, save it for the Jack show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of my favorite covers on your run, and the thing I really oh liked, yeah, that's a good. Peter one. David was doing in this was kind of using the making the Hulk this psychological character, right? Oh, so yeah, this, this yeah. chemical necessarily change, but it was yeah. also the psychological change. Exactly. And you had the personality of the gray Hulk, you had the personality of the green Hulk. And then of course yeah. you had Banner's personality in there. Yeah. When you were, when you were 
working on this and getting these scripts from Peter David, which were actually really good. Oh, yeah, um, I still have them. I still have them. Did you, were you like going, wow, this is really good? Or were yes. you just kind of like, did oh, you? Oh, I loved them? reading them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would just read them and just sort of get into almost like a novel. Yeah. You know, because he's such, I mean, he would also refer to me like he would say, okay, Dale, do what you want here. You know, like, oh my God, I'm in the script. <laughs> <laughs> so he would say, he would go like, uh, he would have all the dialogue, everything that needed to be there was there. Right. But then he would, uh, he would say, okay, there's a fight scene for three pages. Just do what you want. Awesome. See, that's like, the best. Oh. When you get those scripts, those are great. Cause you can yeah. just, yeah. Cause he understood, you know, he has to, you, you let the artist breathe. Right. You let exactly. him do what he wants. Exactly. And you're gonna get you're gonna get good stuff. You know? If you have a good artist, right? But yeah, that, but even even if you don't, you know. No, <laughs> well, that's true. Some of the stuff's better than others right? <laughs> and, um, when left to their own devices. Yeah. So I want to show one more. I just want to show a couple of my. Oh, this is great! I love this because I want you to know that I still have all these. I sold all my comics from post 1980, so I only have right. pre 1980 books in my collection. But I yeah. kept yours and Alan Davis's. Oh yeah, of course. So uh, course. I just want you to know, um, I got your back, man. Okay. All right, now this was cool. This was kind of like a. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. You know what that? Kind of, one. What's that? Go ahead. I just re um that was like that's really highly based on a uh, John Ramita Senior sketch, like it's almost verbatim. Like really? I remember I did these few sketches for what because Peter David said okay he has the head of Bruce Banner and the body of the Hulk and I'm like mm -hmm. I've seen that before it doesn't look good mm -hmm. it's terrible mm -hmm. um, and I thought I, I gotta have I gotta make him look like the Hulk but kind of not you know like smarter yeah like like just a little more and yeah like intelligent and more human right so uh, I did a sketch and then John Ramita pretty well sent me well, I changed it a little bit but that's what he sent me. Because John Ramita was amazing. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. He would send me notes through the editor, improving my artwork. Like, at one point, I would never draw the cranium. I would always draw heads with no cranium. But he has a lot more anatomical knowledge than I do. Right. So I would just, I would just absorb these notes that he gave me. So you know, a John, Ramita, uh, a Ron, John Ramita Sr. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure I get that right. Yeah. Yeah, because he was art director there for. He a was while. exactly. He was sending out notes. What should be changed? What you know? <laughs> but I think he liked it. What I was doing. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so this is the smarter Hulk. Yeah, um, and I always thought this was kind of funny because does the Hulk really need a gun? Because he just kicks butt. Yeah. But it was such. This was so That's much that, like Punisher era, right? Where the Punisher yeah. was really hot, and so. Yeah, and that is Punisher weird, era, though, isn't it? Right? It is weird. Yeah, but it was cool. It was still cool. Oh yeah, it was cool. Like I mean, a different take, you know, on the whole. Yeah, that was before yeah, the image thing. Before like the big pockets and the big guns, the big right. life belt exactly. stuff. All right, so that leads me into my next question. Then, so you're you're riding high on the Hulk. Oh yeah. And exactly. image does their thing. They break. They break off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you get involved with Image? Obviously, you weren't one of the co the you know the co-creators of Image, but no. you were right there. Well, right? I was right on the tail end of it. There was like the seven, and right. I was right out right outside of the seven. So how did you as a matter of fact, there was one there was one point, check it out, um, where Will's Potashio, I guess his sister was ill, and he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't be one of the founders. So he backed out and oh. they offered it, they offered it to me. Really? And I kept thinking, oh, I don't know, man, like I'll have to like show up for meetings. <laughs> I didn't. And also I have a criminal record, so it's hard for me to cross the border. Oh. So I, I turned it down. I turned down being one of the founder me founding members no of it. Kidding. Wow. Wow. But they, but they obviously wanted you on board anyway. Right. So yeah, who, oh, absolutely. Who yeah. contacted you? Who that was, uh, well, first of all, the first thing that happened was McFarlane sent me like a word that he wanted me to come visit him because I was doing a convention in Vancouver. Well, he's he Canadian lived, too, right? Yeah, exactly. He was born in uh, Calgary. Yeah. And uh, I was in Vancouver convention and then he was, uh, he's across, he was across the, uh, you had to take like a ferry to go to Victoria Island. Mm -hmm. And he lived in a place called Duncan, BC, which is beautiful. Oh, he wouldn't believe how beautiful British it is. Columbia is beautiful. Oh, beautiful. so I took the, I, I, I got, it was, I remember it was like a real bad, Maybe that wasn't the storm. It's like a snowstorm. I got it across and he was going to meet me at the ferry. So I was going to spend a couple of days with him and Wanda, his wife. Yeah. So I show up 
right? I get a, I get a, I get to the bus station. I completely fucking sorry miss my bus. <laughs> <laughs> I missed my bus. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, that's, that's, good. Good. that's the best one ever. Oh, I missed that's my bus. So I, I call I call up McFarland, right? Uh uh, I think <laughs> I think I missed my bus. <laughs> and he's like, he was so annoyed, I could tell. Oh, really? McFarland, right? So yeah. he goes, uh the fuck did he do? He goes, okay. So he hopped in the car. Sorry. He hopped in his car. He and his wife and his little like, cute dog they used to have had to go to the freaking oh. ferry, the, the, the bus station to pick me up an hour there and an hour back. Oh. And, they're, and, and they're trying to act like this isn't bothering them. I'm like, oh, I feel like such an asshole. And they're like, they're at the top. We're having conversations and stuff. We get back to the house. Dude, I pull up McFarland's house. Unmade, amazing house, beautiful. Just and Wanda's like, it's clean. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. And so I was in there, and I'm like, I'm a uh, like about thirty percent dirt bag. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was there for two two days, and I was jonesing for a cigarette. Like I didn't smoke a lot, but I was like really want. Like I was there, and McFarland's talking to me, and I'm like, I need a fucking cigarette. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I go. All right, sorry. So I, I'm in McFarland, Todd McFarland's Ooh. guest room. Right. And I'm going, God, I really, I got, first of all, I got to drop a deuce, first of all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, I got I to smoke a cigarette. So I've tried to, it's a big house, right? Huge house. So I walk down, I'm trying to find the furthest bathroom away from their bedroom. Right. Because right. my bedroom was right beside. So I Good. find like the studio lights right before uh, this bathroom. And I go in there, I'm stuffing like Kleenex underneath. <laughs> so I did my business and I, I smoked a cigarette. I'm going, God, please don't let them Wait, smell in this. The house? Come here. In, the house? in the bathroom. Oh, and it's, no. uh, believe me, Wanda, she she keeps a tight ship. There's no smoking in her house. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, I'm like, I got the fans on. I'm going, please, <laughs> please. I just need a cigarette. And the next day they didn't say anything, but I'm like tiptoeing, trying to sneak to the bathroom with Mark Farland's giant house. Oh my gosh. I don't know so what he thought of me, man, but well, we so, got along. Okay. Um, Fragaboom says 30%. Uh, that's low. What's he talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Are, <laughs> are you garbage? Dumping a smoke. I don't know. I but am a certain percent oh, garbage. Oh, I see. You're 30%. That's right. You're 30% yeah. trash is what you said, right? It's okay. <laughs> that's low. Okay. Oh, that's, so, a, that's something to be proud of. I was trying to. Yeah, it's higher. So, it's higher. okay. So, no, no, so, hang on a second. So, this maybe didn't go as well as you'd hoped. <laughs> well, you know, I wanted to be McFarlane's best friend. Like, oh, right. my God, I'm going to have this artist. We're going to be buddies. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're going to, like, call each other. And that, but it didn't happen because it was kind of like that. Like I was like the drama geek. Like he was like the jock. He's a mm -hmm. he's a jock. He I love McFarland, but I'm like you know we didn't quite. Yeah, didn't you know quite what I mean. That. Like oh. as an example, like Rob Liefeld came to visit before I, and they just got along before I did, and they got along really well. They're like this for a while, you know. So it was a good visit. So at what point though did this become? We're offering Dale. We want him to do a book for us. I don't, I maybe because of the visit, like maybe McFarland changed his mind. I don't <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like, I don't know if we want this dirt, this, this douchebag in our, uh, <laughs> but no, I, I literally, it was Jim Lee that called me. Oh, was it? Yeah. I love Jim. And uh, how, he was talking long, about. How long was this after the McFarland? That was about like, not that long, like a few mm -hmm. months. Cause I was still doing the Hulk. I was supposed to do Hulk 400. Like right. I was, I was like, it was there. I was in, I was like in for the, the landing. And then they pulled it. Oh, well, they pulled familiar. it. But I was I was so overjoyed because I wanted to get started on a pit. So they they apparently had heard that you might be going to image, and so they pulled. That's why they pulled. No, I quit already. I said I, this oh. um, this is my last issue, and they said, okay, can you do four hundred? I said sure, but then they pulled it. Mm. But yeah. I, like I said, I'm glad. I don't know who so, did that. Who did four hundred? I wonder. Liam Sharp Gary or Frank. Gary oh. Frank did. Okay, so it was Gary Frank before Liam Sharp. Yes, yes, right. that's right. Right. right on your tail because yeah, Gary. Now Gary's terrific, but he was kind of aping your style, and there was a kind of that transition yeah, but, from you to Gary Frank, and then he kind of went on his own thing, and then when he was done, that's when Liam came in. Yeah, he but the Gary, I, the Gary Frank merged Hulk is my favorite. I love it. 
I love the Gary Frank merge talk. I fucking love that. Sorry. Well, I, <clears throat> I, I'm a big Gary Frank fan, but oh. it was, to me, it was like when Wrightson was working on Swamp Thing, you know, yeah. it was fantastic. And then Mer Nestor yeah. Redondo takes over and did a fantastic job, but it just wasn't Wrightson, you know. And and to me, it was kind of like Gary Frank was doing really nice work, but it wasn't it wasn't your stuff, you know, which I had right. become really accustomed to and really dug. And I and um, so you go over and you're doing Pit now, right? So I'm sh I'm sure they're giving you like an yeah, I got thing. started right away. I just I'm right. just start doing pit. Now the money, but I didn't I didn't have a design yet. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Did you have a concept at this point? Nothing. Nothing. You, you were gonna do. You were gonna do. A I was gonna do like a wolver. I was gonna do a Wolverine kind of character because I liked mm -hmm. Wolverine and the sort of grittiness of it. Right. So I was going. Oh, what am I gonna do? So I had a. There's a picture of. I might even have a sketch of it, where Pitt had a nose. I thought it just looks way too generic. Some like he looked like some kind of wild, like beast man. But I said okay, and I remember thinking whenever I draw faces, I just always wished I could didn't have to draw the nose. <laughs> so I said, why don't I just create a character where you don't draw the nose? Dude, I'm when you draw monsters and they don't have, they look better without noses. Yes, yeah. absolutely, dude. Like you're going you as soon as you put it, the, an inkling of a nose. It's like mm -hmm. ah, well, it just ruins it. Like a, yeah, they look like a human being. They're no longer a monster. Yes, of a human. It's like the uncanny valley or some shit. Yeah. It's like he nope. just. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, so absolutely, I'm gonna bring up a couple more pictures here. Hang on a second, as we continue through the "This Is Your Life," Dale Keown. <laughs> Um, I love this it. is your life. I love uh, it. it. Takes me a second here to bring this stuff up, so uh, bear with me here. I want to get these in the right order. Although I don't know if they're they really need to be in oh, order. Serious? Probably not. Oh, yeah, this guy is serious. Because stuff. I have a I have a serious question I want to ask you about. Oh, and all Goodness. this is you know clearly serious. Uh -oh. But uh oh, mm. um, I know I'm scared. No, 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 no. This is like this a is this is this is technique type stuff. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get into with you a little bit. I'm fucking and having I, a great I, time though. So a, oh I'm so glad. I am like so clueless to most of it. <laughs> oh oh yeah, that's good. In the 30 years you've been together, but yeah, that's one of the I very like few things I've ever done that yeah, I like. He's really, he's really good. I told yeah. you. Okay. So you were not doing this level of line work, obviously, in the Hulk issues. No, I wasn't inking. Yes. Uh, okay. there's a couple of Hulk covers I did ink. Right. And they're they're kind of like this. Like okay, I didn't. So I didn't really know what I was doing. When you, well, I would beg to differ, uh, but because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story here in a minute, but let's get to this first. Okay. So you, um, you go into image, right? And you're, you, you're trying to come up with a concept. Okay. Yeah. Are you feeling as an artist, are you, you're looking at this and saying, okay, these guys are probably paying you like, you know, what a thousand dollars a page or whatever they were paying you, right? Like a ton of money, way more than Marvel was. Right. Yeah, when yeah, when the dust clears, sure. Yeah, and so, and you know, you're working with some of the top guys in the industry. So, did you like? Was was this how you? How do I want to say this? Is this how you would have drawn if you'd had the time in the Hulk, or did you just feel like this pressure working with these image guys that you had to go next level, and that's when you started doing this like incredible detail line work? I don't even think it was that. I always think that uh, it was just. You just felt this sense that you just wanted to just you felt felt kind of free, right? You know this freedom. Not that working with Marvel, I felt constrained in any way, so it didn't really change that much in that regard. But there's just yeah. something about just doing whatever you wanted. That uh, like remember when Liefeld said that he saved his best work for his image work? Mm -hmm. Like I, I, people took that the wrong way because I know exactly what he means. No. I know what exactly what he means. When you're working, it wasn't with, literally that he wasn't doing his best work with his right. Marvel. He was, but there's something about the freedom of just doing your own thing that just opens things up. Well, that's true, and also without the deadline pressure, yeah, that you're under in a Marvel or DC book, where on something like this, if you take a couple extra weeks or whatever to do the issue, it's not a yeah. big deal, right? No, absolutely. And so you could you could go there and say, you know what? I'm going to spend as much time as I want to on this to make it look exactly the way I want it to right. look. But now, even that, there's limits to that. Like that's true. You know, that's like true. I I personally I need a fire underneath me. Like mm -hmm. I remember the last two jobs I did for Marvel, I fucking blew myself. Like I was, I blew my head. <laughs> beep beep. beep. I, uh, <laughs> 
I've given up on you, man. I, I'm not. You know, I'm sorry. I'm not, like, I was like, I, I met two print like I, I met two print deadlines in a fucking row. Nice. Like, like you know, the, there's like the catalog, then there's the art deadline, then there's the right. print deadline. Right. It's like you can't miss the fucking print deadline. Excuse right. Me. Right. Excuse my French. Um, oh, but <laughs> and I and I pulled two of those up. I, I, I like I pulled it off, man. <laughs> I just got it right in there. I just got it right into the print deadline. I hey, worked this, really hard. Like this, I, I'll kill myself to meet a print deadline. Okay, well that's good to know. So, that's yeah. so yeah. And, and there were so many years where I would like lie to editors. I'm just <laughs> fucking lie to them, man. Like, yeah, I got a bunch of pages coming and, and nothing. But I, I now I realize that it's just the meanest thing to do to an editor because, like, how are they supposed to cover their end if you're fucking lying to them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Right. It's just so childish. And I realized that I would rather give an editor bad news than lie to them. That's just right, so right. mean because they have, you know, if, 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 if a book meets, a, uh, misses a print print end line, they're fucked. Like mm -hmm. that goes on there. Like they're screwed. Reputation. They're absolutely screwed. An artist yeah. can find work, but an editor's like, it's, it all falls on their lap. Yeah. But when people talk about deadlines that aren't met or things being late, they don't understand that how much goes into it oh absolutely or especially when you're self-publishing yeah there's so many oh, so levels much. of things that we don't even think about yeah. or realize and then you're there it at is the mercy of other people or whatever yeah. and there's yeah. so many times there's... that you know aaron's been asked oh will you bail out so and so and he's like i mean i i call him the hardest working man in comics because he works if he's not physically working he's thinking about working 24 7 you're also pretty he's fast about working do what? Right? You're also pretty fast. Aaron's pretty fast. Yeah. Like he doesn't he doesn't bullshit. He like gets it done. Well, yeah. well like I'm guilty of like sketching some something out so much that I'm like, I just sketch the life out of it. You know, it's like yeah. well, there's a lot of times she's like, I don't like it. I'm gonna start over. Yeah, like, you don't have time to start over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's you don't done. have time. Just it's done. Done. That's right. right. Done. But you know, he's got bills in and... Exactly. He didn't marry a rich woman, so Randy <laughs> Howell's dropping another five on us. Thank Randy, you, Randy. Love so much yeah. says, Keep up the cussing. Wraith got two more backers. How about a Dale <laughs> Keown variant? Ooh. Well, Dale already yeah. offered. So yeah, I uh, love werewolves. I my werewolves are like my favorite thing. We love the well, monsters. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you on my next project. Yeah, I'd love to do it just a, a Okay. Was werewolf. this was this piece a promo piece or was that this a cover? Awesome. That was a promo that piece, was, wasn't it? That was a promo piece. Yep. You know, even though you're one hundred percent, like blown up, they were like it That's, is so well because they're well correct. Drawn. They're correct, right. but they're exaggerated. But they're correct. And being you a mathematician, and be correct. I love. Uh, he's almost as wide as he is me. tall. Mm, yeah, I love it. But he, you know, I mean, so yeah, I mean, I just wanted to. I, I, I wanted to create a human humanoid pit bull. Where did this concept come yeah. from? Was last you know you had said that you you got the job, but you had no idea what you wanted to do. So how did you? come to a point where you said, okay, this, this is it. Pit is it. How did this come about? I was just, you know, you just noodle, you're noodling on a sketch and okay, that looks good. It's weird how you do that, right? You just keep mm -hmm. noodling. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll move this over here. I'll just, you know, erase this part. And I just came up with this image where this noseless character. And see that. I, and I just went, okay, that's good me. enough. I mean, We're that's what makes to. a great monster. Cause it, it's supposed to it be scary. Me. Yeah. Like no nose makes me go, Oh, also, okay. when it's like this this violent character that has a grin on his face, Ooh. you know, well, <laughs> he's, enjoy, he's enjoying this way too much. Right, right. Were you thinking because you just come off the Hulk, was some of that going, you know, maybe I should do like a Hulk-like character or was that, did that come into your mind at all when you're putting it together? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, like a men amalgam, I guess. Right. You know, um, I wanted to create a Hulk-like character because I like drawing big, like anatomy and stuff, obviously. Right, yeah, yeah. And, uh. But I didn't want him to look like the Hulk. But right. if you if you look at it, if you if you sort of would if you actually ask people, they think like like there was actually a Hulk pit crossover. Yes, there was. Can you believe that? It's wild. Like I did a Hulk pit, like a character I created was merged, like it was a, a versus the Hulk. Like I, I, I now I think about it, and that kind of blows me away. At the time, things were just. You know. Yeah, they move fast. You know exactly really when you step back. It's but like, now I think back, I go, "Yeah, that's pretty cool, man." I got my uh, like two more. Like I was a such a Hulk, a huge Hulk fan when I was a kid. Right, and it's like it was. It kind of blew my mind. Like now, yeah. when I think about it, that's kind of a dream job, really, to get you to use your own character. Yeah, and for Marvel to think that 
not only you were prominent enough to pull it off, but also second part is that they, they thought your character was big enough to star in a book with a Hulk yeah. and it would be okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's quite an accomplishment. It's I'm like a standalone too. thing, but yeah, it was pretty yeah. cool. Okay, so Absolutely. this is the cover to number one, right? And uh, Robert Kirkman now owns this baby. Yeah. But here's the interesting thing that I wanted to bring up technique-wise <laughs> was, I, I told you this story when we talked, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Right. Uh, Gary Martin, inker, and I, well, I was working on Sludge at Malibu at the time. Or oh, yes. to work on sludge and we Malibu. Were, yeah. yeah. So we were getting the tour of the office. We we're just ready to launch all this stuff. You know, I'd done some promo work on sludge, but hadn't done any pages or anything yet. And we went into, they had this little storeroom where they had a bunch of image art, right? Because they were the first publishers of the image books before. Yeah, absolutely. Before, right. Yep. Yep. And so there were a bunch of your pages in there. And if I had known the Mitch Ickowitz trick, I would have called you. Up <laughs> Yeah. I'll buy all these from you. Um, of course, I wouldn't have sold them. I would have <laughs> yeah. kept them. But exactly. We were, we were blown it's away. It's just smart. Yeah. We were blown away <laughs> that this was all brushwork. Right. It's not pen work. And that, to me, and Gary's a guy who has just outstanding control. And my control is as good as I need it to be most of the time. Right. Yeah. But this is meticulous and you know this is like Boland level control with your brush, and yeah, we I had were just a, both just really impressed with. I don't think my hand is as steady as it was, but well, I can still do it. <laughs> well, I think that's why I went to a quill because mm -hmm. you can apply more pressure to it. Like right. you know, with the brush, you're like you're just hovering up, you're just like creating this. Mm -hmm. You know, you're it's a lot of pressure on this part of your hand. Right. You're right. just uh, you're just trying to do that, and sometimes you get really fast at it. Right. But I think that's why I went to a quill because it's more like drawing. Right. Well, see, that's why on my Wraith of God project I'm working on right now is why I'm inking with just – I'm inking with microns and, and pens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I wanted it to be more like a sketchy drawing finished feel to it rather than something like this. It's super slick and refined and perfect. Yeah, like a Scott Williams. Yeah. Right? Like that just everything – every line is perfect, dude. Like yeah. he, he inked a couple, uh, 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 like a few pages for me. And I would just, I just look at them and go, Oh my God. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. Like just the steadiness of his, his line. Now it's inking, mind blowing. inking your, okay. Now I got to, I want you to take a look at this interior page that I got here of yours All right. because this, oh. this, this brings up another question of mine when it, when it comes to inking. Cause I know your pencils are, I yeah. assume even when you're penciling for yourself, your pencils are super tight, right? Anal retentive. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. So you do these incredibly tight pencils, right? And then you follow that up with incredibly Holy tight crap. inks. Now, well, the thing is, it's not really that tight because I use a very soft lead. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of sketchiness, but then I sort Wait, of there? preserve it. I just bring it out with the inks. Okay. Because I do. You, do you ever get to a point? Because this is a lot of work. What you've done here on this page right yeah you've got you know 22 pages or however long the book was of this type of stuff on every page. yeah yeah did you ever did you ever get to the point where you're just like bored inking and then you try to like maybe see i would get sloppy i could ink my own covers with a brush and i could do fine but if i started inking interiors at some point I was starting to get like, oh, I already drew this. Now I got to go over it again with ink. Yeah. And then I would start getting a little sloppy because I'd want to get through it as opposed to staying focused. Do you ever have that kind of trouble when you're doing this level of detail with your inking? That it well, you nuts. Yeah, like, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, no, because the the pencils are pretty sloppy. Like if you were to see the pencils, you'd see that they're like pretty like scribbly. Mm -hmm. And I just, I know what I want. Mm -hmm. I just ink over it. Okay, so you weren't doing like but then later, super tight lines in your pencils. Sorry. Later on, I got into creating, like for Marvel, mm -hmm. super tight pencils, and I scan it into Photoshop and then fill in the blacks. Because I figured... About I later, figured, right? Yeah, later. Yeah. But this was all inks. This is all number two uh, pure sable brush. Yep. Oh, man. So, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. How, do, you ever go into a, do you ever go into an art store and just like look at the tips of the brushes? Mm-hmm. Like uh, I literally, I can bring a magnifying glass because like, they're like uh, expensive. Yeah, the, the winds are new. Yeah, like $20. absolutely. And most of the tips on them suck. So you gotta they, exactly, you got to look at each one and go, okay, this one's 
okay, <laughs> I'll buy this his one. favorite field trip. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Do you have, uh, do you have any of these? Did you keep the originals of these or do you sell these? Some of them are gone. Uh, some of them I still have. Okay, so you've got your retirement, so you can like unleash. No, I, uh, I, I, I needed money, so I sold some of them. So well, that is not what, <laughs> isn't that what we always do? Yeah, exactly. Now this is this is I think this is from pit number one. Oh yeah, that that's the that's like a double page. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite panel sequences yeah. you did. That that I saw this online. I was like, oh my gosh, I yeah. remember that so vividly. Going, yeah, I was really this. into like like reflective light. Mm hmm. Because Which it looks, it actually looks too light there. It actually should be a little bit darker, but well, well, the color is like, uh, like yeah. they would bring it to like Ollie. Remember uh, Steve Olaf from yeah, Ollie yeah. Optics? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he would do a really good job. They would do like what they call color guides first, where they would just color it with marker, uh -huh. pencil crayon, and the guy who was doing it was a guy by the name of uh, Joe Chido. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's amazing. He would send me these style guides, like people sell those style guides now because yeah. they're so amazing yeah. and then and then of course then all the optics would convert them to digital and they never look quite as good yeah you know? well the the interesting thing is or it's clear to me being an artist i look at this and i say well clearly you want a kicker light or an underlighting yeah. on this character you got yeah. you got a double light source going through here and yeah. that was you you got that from your colorist obviously in the book mm -hmm. But I've done stuff like that, not to this level of detail I, on a DC book, and then the colorist just not get it. Oh. You know, and that, there's nothing more frustrating than that. But one of the things I um, dude, oh, it's when you, you spend so many hours <laughs> oh on gosh. things, like, you know, and then the colorist just he doesn't get it. Like, saturated in the level of depression, just like, ugh. yeah, yeah. Just like well, that's it. why that's why I love Kyle, Kyle Ritter. Because he gets it. Kyle Ripper. He just that name. Uh, yeah. he takes whatever you do and just like pushes it up to a different level. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, one of the things I really, one of the things I always look for in art that that appeals to me. I mean, I love all the line work and everything. That what about what about the switchblade? You like the switchblade? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. look at the detail. I love the hand. I have no idea. I hand. had no idea. I think I looked up a picture of a switchblade, but I figured. Well, I don't think anybody has switchblades anymore. That's right. You want to make it authentic. Well, but in exactly. fact, Aaron, he doesn't just look them up. He buys. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. He yeah. I would love to do that. I still have a mark from the gun that. Well, she stuck <laughs> hand in the hammer. I, 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 I don't know why I thought he was pointing at me because <laughs> he buys at... fake guns. I buy real yeah. guns. So <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Here you like, go. And yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> what I really look for in an artist is someone that can give a three-dimensional weight yeah. to their character. Weight, yes. And that's what your your work has. Wrightson had that. Um, yeah. Like Chuck a solid Jones cartoons have that. And yeah. this yeah. isn't, to me, I can just feel the mass. Right. You know? The background isn't like a... It's like a weight. Like You're just trying to create weight. weight. So every single every single item in here has... Purpose. I don't want to say weight, purpose, yeah. But there's, right. but there's, there's depth in the panel, but just the, the actual... You feel like you go out and could grab Pitt's arm, you know, and just squeeze. Right, yeah. There's real meat there. And that's something I really look for because some guys, when they do this much line work or that much stylization in the work, it gets really flat. Right. You know? It becomes about the line work and not uh, it about It becomes the what they call like constipated. <laughs> there you go. And um, so I've done it. I've, I've, I've created work that just looked way too constipated for me. But you never, give a, yeah, but pop your stuff, a laxative your, in there. Your, your stuff never loses the weightiness, and that's what is the real appeal to it is just the the thickness and the weightiness that you're. Yeah, that's just from just just working on something until it looks right. Yeah, you yeah. know, you know when it looks right. Yeah, you yeah, know? absolutely. Oh, nobody else knows except for you. Speaking well, of that's which, the thing, well, though, I know people don't realize. I know Dale how much work you guys do put into this. <laughs> yeah. But, I, I'm constantly saying, you guys just have no idea. Like, yeah, it's a lot. The amount of time, or I, I missed, break. I missed like I missed two summers working, yeah. like yeah. two summers. Like I spent like a day outside. I'm like in. Right. Just, <laughs> and there's so many things that like he'll take a little break. Yeah. And the the phrase he has said to me the most in our marriage in 29 years is, "I got to work." Oh my god, I can relate to that. Yeah, that's deadly. So many different levels. 
it's just yeah. his work ethic. And yeah, I got to yeah. work. Like that. that's the number one thing. It's like a bubble you create around yourself, you know? Yeah. You could just because you got to do it because your whole like your whole flow state. You, only you know when you can get into it. Right. Well, there's so many That's times that like exactly. he doesn't come to bed till two a.m. Yeah, and well, not he, anymore. That was the good well, old days when we no. were younger. <laughs> yeah, when we could stay up past past nine. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh like, my! Yeah. I've I don't know how many times I've fallen asleep in my drawing chair. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it's like I lay back. It's like yeah. oh, we like I got it's kids. like this. Right? Ask if there was ever going to be a time that we could travel that wasn't comic book related. I was like, like nope, mm, nope. I got to write the trip off. So, yep. Um, well, that's that's good. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Wait, I got to pee. Okay. Okay, go for so, it. So we'll cover for you. All right. So okay. what does Shelly know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we'll do. What does Shelly know? Oh, Let's address no. the chat. Oh my gosh, you guys, so good. I've been trying to respond to some. Um, what's this one? I don't know. What Ibex? I hope that's a bad joke. I don't know. Oh no, Ibex um is a new one. That one. I'm sure that's not so. I wouldn't I wouldn't believe anything you because read on Twitter. That's what we're sure finding that. is that they will make up anything they want. That they'll be like, Oh yeah, I'll just say this because I don't have a clue, but you know, it'll hurt somebody. So I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I mean I don't it know makes Kyle me at all. Crazy. But I wouldn't believe anything to read no. on Twitter. That's for sure. I have never seen anything even remotely. I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. Um, this is my yeah. fourth white claw. Look at that. I think we all needed a breather from the awesomeness. Oh, serious. There's some serious. I mean, there's this, there's mass, there's energy. Yeah. There's this, <clears throat> there's no reason not on, to I'll love this stuff. In a second. I forgot and, to send um, my girlfriend the link. Nah, you're cool, man. Take your time. How could I do that? Well, and that's what's so nice is that we can all appreciate the level of awesomeness. Okay, I'm sending you the link. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right, man. Okay. Holy fine. Okay. Here we go. Yes, Randy, I'm on Twitter now, a lot of cray cray. And I don't know if it was like Christmas or a lot of the goodwill that comes with Christmas. They thought, I'm just going to kill it. I'm just going to not go with it and make everybody as miserable as I am. That's why I don't spend any time on Twitter. I know, but. I can't. Oh, I do not like when people are attacked for no good reason for makeup stuff. Okay. And I just cannot help myself. I'm a protector. I'm the mama bear. All right. Okay. <laughs> He's back, man. I'm sorry. Did you guys hear that? Oh, it's okay. No, no, no I have that. I have a very loud pee. No, no, oh, no, no, no. That we didn't hear. We were would, talking really would, loud yeah. to make sure we didn't have that. We were covering for you. <laughs> okay. Um, so you you finished pit number one, right? <laughs> Here it comes. Here okay. It comes. Oh. So then there's this huge gap between the second issue. Oh yeah. So what's going on? What happened? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is where he gets into. <clears throat> no, no, no. I'm just curious because I I, I have to remember what happened. I remember Jim League saying I said it was going to be 28 pages, and he was why don't you just save like like five pages for the next book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I just remember I moved to a new house. It was beautiful. This house was like two furnaces. Oh my God. It was amazing. And I, uh, I remember working on that book and I just kept adding pages and it just took longer and longer. Cause I didn't know how to end the story because I'm not a writer. Mm -hmm. You know, I just kept adding, okay, what, what would happen next? Okay. <laughs> you know, you, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know, like I was making everything up as I went along. Like I really regret um, sort of exposing the main bad guy so soon, because so it's like three issues in, like the main protagonist is revealed. It's like, what am I doing? Like I didn't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. You well, know, like it, it, hindsight is great. You know, you just think, well, if I could, yeah, but now I can, I can redo it, kind of. Um, so I, rem you know, it's funny because I remember after. Uh, uh, OzCon in Australia talking right. to your, your agent or rep, or whatever he wanted. He was asking me because you guys were talking about getting Steve Gerber to write the script. Philip. Good luck. Yeah. Phillip. Phillip. His name was Philip Foxhoven. Yes. That That's guy right. made me, oh my God, that made me, that guy made me so much money. It's crazy. Just from like licensing and stuff. Amazing. Well, sorry, go on. It's good to have somebody like that. I know. It's just doing, that right? guy. I just want to give that guy props. We're going to give him, oh, give him nice. a plug. Yeah. But he calls me up and he's asking me if, you know what I think about Gerber, and I just told him I said, "Look, it, if 
you want a really good script, Gerber will give you a really good. Oh, script. he's awesome, dude. If you want it on time, I said you're. If you're doing this to get this book out on time, then you're making a huge mistake. I had no pro. I worked with Gerber. I had no problem with time. Well, there you go. Then the, that was the only thing I said about him. Yeah. Like, oh my oh, God, oh, he was so great, man. I I don't know how many hours I talked to that guy on the phone. What a great guy, Steve Gerber. Yeah. He Amazing. Right. He was so nice. So how much did you get out of him? How many issues did you get out of him? Uh, i say a couple. But yeah. you know what happened, right? Okay, I was like, uh, it's hard to say. But he would always have Pitt being, like, saying too much. And I always say, like, Pitt is is very stoic, right? He right. doesn't say a lot. He's yeah. all action. He's very right. little words. But he said, as a writer, I got to do that. And at that point, I sort of separated the internal dialogue of Pitt with the Jareb character, I separated it mm -hmm. out. So he didn't have that because that was great exposition, right? Having this like internal dialogue between two characters. Right. Right. And so by the time he got on board, he was like, how am I supposed to write if I can't have the main character talking? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and so he said, maybe I'm not the right guy for this, but I fucking loved his writing. I just oh, loved it. Yeah. It's I just totally loved the guy. I mean, he was so great. He was such a great guy to talk to on the phone. He had like a couple pit bulls. He would talk about how great his pit bulls were. Oh, I love that guy. Another guy I loved is Sam Keith. I talked to him a lot. Mm. Not recently, but like back in the 90s. Boy, that's quite a, <laughs> quite a change. Yeah. Well, you know, I so... That's interesting because you um are you still I are you still in touch with him? Because I was no. He, no, Sam, 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 I'm trying to get in touch with Sam. Oh. Contact me. Sam. There you go. Sam, if you're out there. Sam. I love curious, that guy, man. What's he up to, you know, these days? But well, I haven't talked to him in years, but you know, he does have a presence on like I think uh Instagram mm -hmm. and probably uh Facebook. But he, back in the day when we did the uh San Diego con like, like like Sam Keith and I were like this like we just hung out all the time mm -hmm. like we both had this had the same degree of like uh uh anxiety I guess so <laughs> you know what I mean you like were, dude dude you guys were your support valves for each other. oh dude like we were both like the same person so we're walking around this San Diego convention 1992 we're just hanging out looking at shit we're just laughing mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden somebody comes up and says oh you guys got to do a panel and I'm like, what's that? I didn't know what a fucking panel was. <laughs> like, what is a panel? I didn't know what that was. So we're all lined up like McFarlane, Silvestri, Eric Larson, Jim Lee, all the guys, like seven guys, right? Plus That's Sam fine. and I. And then, okay, we're going to go. And they open the door and there's an auditorium full of like, I don't know how many hundreds of people no, I'm sure applauding. And we're going up on a stage. And I'm like, this is my worst nightmare. Like, I am literally terrified of public speaking. <laughs> like terrified so we're like, going <laughs> like they're, they're terrifying they're less afraid of dying than they are public exactly public. exactly <laughs> so i had the first I actual say? panic attack that i've ever had in my life oh, really and i looked over at sam and he was in way worse shape than i was and he was like <laughs> his, 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 his eyes were like glossed over so we walk into this friggin panel room <laughs> sam and i are in the very end of the and it's like it's like uh mcfarlane uh, like uh, Sylvestri, all the guys, and they're all explaining what their upcoming books would be. And I'm thinking, I have nothing. Like, I don't, I can't explain what I do. And it's it, okay. It's, it's okay. It's that Eric Larson. Oh no. It's that Jim Lee who's right beside me. <laughs> and he explains perfectly what his book was about. And then it came to me and I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But here's what I said. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I said, my book is called Pit, and it doesn't stand for polite intellectual teetotalers. You're like, there you go. I got nothing. Like, they couldn't even hear me. And then Jim Lee, he, he goes on his mic, and he saves our ass. Like, he explains what, and then it goes to Sam Keith, and I look over, not a word. Like, he's just completely, he couldn't say anything. And Jim Lee saved his ass, too. I don't know what that was just the most terrifying experience I've ever had. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not a public speaker. I'm not media savvy. Uh, media savvy. 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 There you go. <laughs> I don't think anybody is. I mean, if they are, they're not very authentic. I think. But some people just have it. Well, like, yeah. like if you listen to Ethan, he's got that oh, thing, oh right? Gosh. Where he can, like, 
drink like the other just constantly. yeah i can't fucking do that like yeah. if somebody asked me a serious question i gotta i can't i give a serious answer oh, like i gotta goof off you could be a really good teacher because I, I mean thinking on your feet is all you do like or, or the flow it's all about the flow yeah, yeah and keep and it constantly it, stop that don't it's do not that. about actually like it's about the flow you got to keep it yeah. flowing yeah okay so people wanted to know in here i gotta be like, drunk yeah, yeah exactly so you probably heard this a hundred times but are you gonna do any more pit is there gonna be a pit omnibus, omnibus. what are you thinking i mean you're working on the salamandroid yeah. thing for ethan uh, 100%, right 100 percent. there's gonna be pit okay. there's actually a, uh, uh i'm working with somebody else in comics gate and we're working on a, a pit story, like a 48 page pit story oh nice. right right now Awesome. Nice. Okay. We're, we're like back and forth. We're like ideas and stuff. And it, mm -hmm. I like working with him because I don't want to say who it is because I think he's a little bit superstitious. He doesn't want to jinx it. Oh, no, that's fine. Well, that's cool. Honestly, that makes sense. like People I don't give a shit. It, though, but I don't want you know. I. But he's really great, and uh, he's come up like I would give him the ideas I had for Pitt, and he would go, "What if we did this?" And I went, "Oh my god." You're right. Okay. What if we did that? Because I, because he's a younger guy than I am. Uh -huh. You know, I would probably just do the same thing I've ever, I've, I've done before. Well, but collaboration is great. Like that. exactly, I love it. And he's a lot younger than I am. So. Well, well, he can give you that kind of fresh perspective. And right? taller. He's taller than I. Am. <laughs> well, well, that always, that always makes a difference. I think. Oh, that's funny. So uh, that's great. So you are working on this. Sorry, our dog, our dog is, is so going needy. Nuts. Whenever we're it's on, so needy. he's like, you know. Well, she has the same eyes. eyebrows as I do. So. Yeah, he's a little mini schnauzer. He's Look at those eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's like a grumpy angry. old man. Yeah, he is. The how, old, how old is he? He'll be two in April. Yeah, so oh, that's he's a good. Just, he's still yeah. a puppy. He's got in his lots like, of like awkward life. preteen years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But he loves Aaron. Oh, my gosh. Yes. He's two. So you offered me. Off off camera, you said, "Hey man, I'd love to do a cover for you sometime." Yeah. So I'm going to take you up on that on the uh, next campaign. Everything's already kind of set in stone on oh, this one. I'd love to do it, man. But I would uh, love to. I mean, I love well, whatever it's going to be. Is it going to be another uh, werewolf? Well, Ooh, no. The, the Wraith of God story that's going to be in the thing is going to be a vampire story, but it's a Nosferatu vampire. Oh, I'm good. And man. then there's a there's a garbage man cover. And then there's going to be, I've got this super team that's kind of a spooky super team is going to be another thing. Mm. So we'll figure out something that uh, uh, strikes your fancy and we'll, uh, yeah. we'll make it. I love up. your artwork. It's amazing. Well, okay. thank you. Everything I look at is like, I still like, I, I was looking at, a, I actually had an Andy Smith book. You know, he puts out those tutorial books. Right, right. right. And I'm like, I, and, that, and there's Andy Smith. I'm going, why does that name seem familiar? <laughs> He put out like an all-purpose like comic, how to draw comic books book. Right, and I have right. it, yeah. and I, I'm all I'm always uh, referring to it like, okay, how does he do this? So Andy Smith is pulled me out of the fire. Andy, a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally said that he'll be thrilled. If he's yeah, I love it. I, I I bought it. I've got it off e uh, Amazon. Nice. So, I do like you that. have any sort of um, a little bit drunk? Uh, <laughs> are you guys going to do the? Uh, the salamandroid project yeah. is that going to be when it's done then it's going to be you know then you're going to you can set up a campaign for it or is it going to do you, have you guys uh, we're going to do half i'm going to ha finish half of the book and okay. then we'll and campaign then gonna, okay but you know i'm working on thumbnails now so i'm actually working on another cover for one of the top comics gigs guys but i'm i don't want to spoil it so no obviously you know being associated with comics gate doesn't bother you at all um no. Does have you gotten any crap from uh no oh, none? We have <laughs> crap, we have enough crap. Can you pass we it? We got well, bucket loads of crap. Yeah. <laughs> well, you you might you might get more when you actually you know launch something, uh right. You know, well, yeah, but, maybe I don't care. Yeah. But then again, it's like I guess at some point you gotta ask yourself, do I really care anymore? Yeah, yeah. Um so Sorry, I'm are you at a point? I mean, you're you're the same age as I am. What so are you? Fifty? Are you fifty nine? I'm fifty. So I'll be fifty eight in January, so I'm right behind. I'm us. older. Yeah, but we're close. Yeah, pretty close. I think Graham is like fifty eight. Graham Nolan. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I think Art is uh, Art. Art's yeah. fifty nine, pushing sixty. Okay, so we're the same. Yeah. Yeah. I got one more year. So, was this kind of a 
I mean, are you just bored with what's going on at Marvel or DC or annoyed with what's going on at Marvel and DC that you thought, you know what, I'm going to go this direction? Well, then, yeah, you know, ahead. I've been spinning my wheels for years, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's no upward movement at Marvel for me. Nothing. Like, they're not going to offer me uh, anything, right? I'm a freelancer. I'm not under contract. So I just remember seeing Ethan on this, one of my favorite podcasts, mm -hmm. talking about comic books. And I'm like, what the fuck? It was like a fucking, this, this fucking, so, <laughs> man, that's like, like, poor, like that's this awesome. door opened up. I said, why the, why am I working for Marvel? <laughs> I, I like, I got a couple kicks left in the can, you know, I might as well right. do it. And I'm, I, I, uh, I relate way more to identify more and more with, with the conservatives than liberals sure I, mean, I grew up in alberta canada it's very conservative really i didn't know well, it has been yeah. in canada <laughs> yeah it's a it's a very it's a i consider it a conservative province mm -hmm. and i don't know if that had any effect on me but i do think more conservative than liberal yeah well now, i'm not religious but i do right. think that i just love the common sense that conservatives right. have it's just common sense it's yeah. rationality that's something that, that doesn't exist on the left. It just seems to be. It's crazy. Oh. Like I, I woke up in a weird world, like this crazy mm -hmm. world. Like I'm a boomer. Like I grew up in the sixties and it's like yeah. the stuff that's happening now. I think that my generation and your generation can see how different it is. Yeah. You know, it's just like, what the fuck's going on? And there's generations of kids who never grew up without the internet, you know? Yeah. Like well, I grew up there's so many years, like without the internet. You know, that was something special. Yeah. Like it, it got on, you watch, you watch the, the dirty, the, the, the porn pictures pixelate slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boobies. <laughs> you know, it's like, and then now it's like, there's so much debauchery out there. Yeah, it's I like, know. I don't know what's happening to the young people. Like they, they have access to so much like porn and debauchery. What is that doing to them? Yep. Like, uh, fuck. Like I didn't have that. I had maybe a Playboy magazine left in the woods. That's it. <laughs> That's know. it. And that was like mind fucking blowing. Like, wow. And they're like glossy. Of course, they had the glossy pages because they had to survive the wilderness. <laughs> 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 fucking Hugh Hefner was thinking. Oh, my gosh. The show's going yeah, off the Making them by the pages. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's sorry. funny. But it's not. Like it's, it's true, man. 50% um, third bank. No, it is. It's, it, it's just... It, I, I've done the same thing. I've just kind of woke up and looked around and said, is this really happening in society? But right they now? gave you shit right away. Like, ah, oh, Aaron, how dare you? Yeah. Well, you know, funny, right away. Yeah. Well, it's like, I get people telling me, oh, you've blown it. You'll never work in mainstream again. I go, I haven't worked in mainstream for like 10 <laughs> months. Why do you think I'm doing this? You know? I mean, yeah, being freelance <laughs> is like, you don't know where your next job's coming from. So hey, every, wait, hey, this is a fucking relief for me. Yeah, you know, when Dan DiDio got canned at DC and then all the people that I knew at DC got canned, I was yeah. like, I'm th this is it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it was time to do my own thing. And um Well, yeah, so like I said, I got a couple kick a couple uh kicks in the can. Yeah. I, I think I got a couple of tries left. <laughs> like I still feel very young, you know. I, yeah. I have a lot, there's a lot inside there. Yep. And I've never expressed what I really wanted to express yet. And I want to do that. Well, I want to just go fucking crazy and create the most amazing artwork ever. That's what I'm, that's why I'm here is to create, it's just to fucking blow people's fucking minds. Sorry. With their artwork. I want to blow people's fucking minds, man. I want them to go. I want them to look at my comic book and go, Oh fuck. I, they can't like, it's, it's, it's like, it just like pulls them in. They can't put it down. Yep. Well, that's, that's what goal. I want to create. I mean, and we that's all... what, that's my life force. Haven't that's all I got, man. <laughs> I can fuck it. Better will do it. Go ahead. Take away my creativity. And I'm, I'm I'm nothing. I'm a shell. I have nothing. Exactly. Left. That's what I feel like. I'm nothing without. But, but then there's so much. There's so much time you spend alone in the studio. It's like, oh, yeah. you know, well, it's, it's kind of fucks you. Know, if you're if you're like uh, you want to be socializing, this isn't the industry for no <laughs> for the job yeah. for it. But but I mean, we all. I mean, I imagine that you even as a kid probably had concepts and ideas of things that. I mean, I was so, toying with self-publishing before I even broke in at Marvel or DC right. because I had concepts and stuff that I wanted yeah. to do. Right. And you, and you look in the mirror and say, like you said, you still feel young, but reality shows up in the mirror and you're like, yeah. oh my God, you're pushing 60, right? It's yeah. like- As how, how, how Harvey Pekar would say, another yeah. reliable disappointment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, you look, when you look in the mirror in the morning. 
<laughs> exactly. Another so reliable discipline. How much time do I have left, really, that I can do the things I want to do at the and level? Dude, you know, here's the thing. Like, guys yeah. our age, they drop dead all the time. I, I hate to say that, but fucking guys our age, they just thanks drop. For bringing the sh for, thanks for bringing I'm sorry, the but it's true. <laughs> like, I'm, I'll be 60 next year. Like, I got a one more, like a little bit of a year left in my 50s. And I'm like, but all kinds of people, like Norm McDonald, fucking just dropped. Like, he had cancer. But, yeah. you know, the other guys who have, like, uh, weird things that happen with their heart, they just fucking drop. Like, uh, aneurysm. Like, my great, my grandfather died of an aneurysm at, like, 55. Like, uh, wow. Like, we could drop dead. Like, we're of the generation that could just drop. I know. Okay, let's change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i had to say that it's fucking true man it is apex comics says every dale keown Fuck. page is mind-blowing look at that that'll cheer you up that'll bring it right back uh fraga boom says looking forward to fire with dale keown yeah. look at that fucking fire now you Literally. got everybody excited now they're thinking about pit. yeah oh yeah come on man that's the energy right that, that keeps, yeah. us, keeps us going that's what it is I'm, i have a fire yeah. inside of me exactly look at this look at that dale you need your own youtube show yeah i'll do it will you you, you, you got enough vodka to supply me <laughs> <laughs> literally i want to go get another drink right now <laughs> david williams you two are old as i think we know Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he goes ahead and says it <laughs> oh, I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i have a potty mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is fantastic oh well dale well this has been a hoot time where i kind of wind this sucker down because we've uh, been on for I, I had a ball man this is great huh? i love talking with you man even when oh, we were I talking talk alone you. it was great but Dude. did you notice that i uh, like i was talking remember the last show it was just the two of us left after the stream i'm like right what the fuck what <laughs> What's going on? Go? and we started talking and having a good time I had to pee so bad. I don't know if you heard that. I peed, <laughs> I peed in a, can, a beer can. Did you really? Oh my! Well, we were I'm like, talking. I'm oh, like, fucking. Going, okay, I hope I hope Aaron doesn't listen to me, hear me pee oh in this gosh, fucking beer. I didn't want to end the conversation. Well, dude. Oh yeah. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know that at all because I would have gone silent for a second and gone. <laughs> Hold on. What is he doing? Oh, I'm you sorry. Know you can. Wait. I thought you heard it. I had to explain. No, no, it. no, no, no. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> So <laughs> you realize, though, that you can actually put up that little icon. I know. <laughs> but I was having a great conversation with you. <laughs> well, what's How often does that happen? Yeah, you have I know. have a good well, conversation. I, I've been wanting to track you down for so long because yeah. when you became a part of or associated with Comic Skate or however, you know, you want to phrase yeah. it, I was like, right. I got, you know, I got to reconnect with Dale because I remember that we briefly met. Like yes, said, in Australia, and I'm like, I gotta no. talk to that guy because, uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of your work, but I, I didn't ever really get to know you during, you know, our prime years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our paths never crossed except for that one time in Australia. So exactly. it just was by happenstance that everybody went out of the green room except you yeah. and me. It was like, damn, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The same thing happened with Phil Diaz. It's like I'm going, what, what is, what is the guy I was talking to Phil? I was talking to Phil for like an hour. Oh my gosh! Well, anyway, I love I love you, Aaron. You're great. Well, Dale, the love goes right back at you, man. And I'm amazed at how how much our careers have crossed. Paths exactly. With, you know, drawing the Hulk and having the same type of interests and same type yeah. of influences and yeah. stuff. And it's for a while, man. We both love drawing big monsters. And yeah, so, uh, I love it. You know, I love your art. It's amazing. Thank you, and I'm a huge fan of yours, obviously. Thank so, you. um. Anyway, thank you, Dale, for taking some time oh. out of your schedule to uh, join me. And uh, everybody's been bugging me. They bug me. They want. I usually do sketch streams, right, where I have guys on and we draw. Yeah. Would you be, ever be up for that to come on? I'll try to. I'll try to set it up. You know, I was trying to set up like the the thing that holds your phone and records right. what you're doing. I I still have to figure that out, but I'd well, love to know, do that. You can get a second. Absolutely. Camera, you know. Okay. This is like yeah. 120 bucks. Put it on a tripod, plug it in. You can just switch back and forth. Oh. Okay. Camera. And then you'd like reverse the angle or something or. Yeah. I don't know. There's, <laughs> I don't know there's, there's I controls at the bottom of your, when, when you okay. come the StreamYard thing, there's like. I know. It's a lot easier than button. Button. You just click that and you can choose between, if you have two cameras, yeah. up, you just choose between which camera you want to use. And Fuck, you're there. I wanted to talk about Fragaboom. Fuck. 
What's right. <laughs> no, go ahead. Talk that about guy. Oh my God. Okay. He was like, when we first showed up in San Diego, he was like the nicest guy. Like he's he was the guy that sort of just brought us in and made us feel very welcome. And I remember that to this very day, how great he was. From the image days, you mean? Yes. Frank yeah. Boom. Yeah. Dan yeah. Frank. Dan has got, Dan has got a, what a great guy. Good heart. You know he, what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. He's a sweet he's, guy. I love that guy, man. Yeah. And he offered to send me image pay, uh, artboard. So it's like, do you know what I mean? On it, right? I don't know. I, I can't do it. <laughs> really? Can't do it. It's it's like gold, you know, <laughs> like gold. These image pages. But if he wants to send me twenty pages, I'd love it. Cod. <laughs> Cod, man. Cod. Come on. Do you hear that? Enough yeah. for one issue. <laughs> Just send him the twenty pages so he can finish yeah. all of Android. Exactly. That would be great. Man. All right, ma'am. All right. Again, thank you so much for joining All us right. in the chat. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the conversation with Dale. Next time I have him on, we will be drawing and we'll get uh, some. Yeah, let's do that soon, man. All right, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank everybody out there. You guys have a great week. And, um, you know, you'll probably see us soon. I don't know. Are you going to do Comic Skate Kings tomorrow night? I don't know. Well, you could. <laughs> you could do it. Yeah, right. well, we might see you tomorrow night. I would love to. There you go. Okay. All right. All, All right, right, everybody. Thanks for Thanks, joining us. See you next time.